your baby in Jesus' name. The baby just come out without stretch, without three, five minutes, and I deliver a bouncy baby boy without operation. I thank God I deliver my baby without operation. My name is Austin Jerry Okorom. I reside in South Africa. I'm a Nigerian. My parents came here and had the opportunity to get this uh, anointed sticker and they sent it to me through my, my junior brother. The day I get the anointed sticker, I, I used to watch him on the TV, I prayed over it. The next thing I did was, um, it, because it was only one, I said, where am I going to put this in? Is it in my, in my house or this? I, the Spirit of God told me to go and put it in my car. I, I put it in my car. On the 3rd of June, I was coming back from home around 11 o'clock. I had an, a terrible accident that when you look at the accident, you can never believe that this person that is standing here today because of love of Jesus on me and the love I have on him will be alive. I would have been a something that is written over. But thank God that I'm here today. The car flied over, hit a, a brick wall and flied over a tree and landed on the wall. Even the, here, you can see here on the, on the newspaper I have here, this is a South African newspaper. You can see a tree, that tree behind there, that car fly over that tree without bringing a leaf down and landed on that wall. If it is not by the grace of God, I will not be alive. And when this accident happened, you can see it here, they said high flyer. You see how the car was flying. I did not know how the whole thing happened. What I saw myself that I was outside, standing like this, before the owner, the white lady that owns this property, came outside. They saw me outside, they said, did you see those people there inside that car? I just keep quiet. They said, they are dead, they are dead, they are dead, they are dead. I just keep quiet. Until when I told them, I am the one they were shot. They said, how did this thing happen? The whole place was full of um, ambulances, you know, uh, rescue team. They came, they looked at me. They said, no, you have to go to the hospital. So I said, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. What I was shouting, God of TV Joshua, God of TV Joshua. I said, I'm fine. They said, no, you must go to the hospital because you might get home and get uh, internal bleeding. When you get internal bleeding, you might die. I said, okay, I cooperated with them. I followed them in the ambulance and went to the hospital. For God be the glory, when I went to the hospital, they checked me. There was, there was nothing in me. I didn't take any pill. There was no blood, nothing. <laughs> you can see here the picture of the accident, how the, BM, the BMW, how the whole thing, you know, wrecked up. You can see it. Do you see the picture here? But for God be the glory, I came out without no injury. Even in the paper here, it was certain. There was no injury. Even the button of my shirt did not wear out. Because of this anointed sticker here, you see here, that's why I am alive. And because the prophet, of anything that the prophet touches and gives to us, we must take serious about it. This is what saved my life, the God of TB Joshua and this anointed sticker. That's why I'm here today to testify the goodnesses of God in, in my life. Guess what? I've been on Facebook. Oh, have you, Justin? Is it true that TB Joshua Ministries are back on Facebook? Yes. But I thought that... Yes. But didn't we say... Yes. But remember we... Yes, Justin. TB Joshua Ministries are back on Facebook. Full stop. End of story. Can you repeat that? Certainly. TB Joshua Ministries are back on Facebook. Well, that that's awesome. What? That's not all. We're also on Twitter. What? You're kidding me. Wonderful! And also on YouTube too! Really? So you mean we're not only now on Facebook, but we're also on Twitter and YouTube? Talk about a comeback! Yeah, come on! Well, that's great! But don't the viewers need to know about this? Attention, Attention viewers! Please note that TB Joshua Ministries are now on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube! Follow us on Twitter at Skoan TB Joshua. Follow us on Facebook at TB Joshua Ministries. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, Skoan TV. 
Now there are so many ways you can link up with what's happening at the Synagogue Church of All Nations in the Global Computer Village. So, get connected today and tell the world. Well, I'll leave a comment straight away. I'm already a fan. I just watched the latest video. I'm going to respond to everything they post right now. Guess what? You know what I just liked? TB Joshua Ministries on Facebook? Oh yeah. That's what's up. What a comeback! Pray along with Prophet TB Joshua everywhere you go. Viewers all over the world, prepare your hearts to receive and get ready to pray along with Prophet TB Joshua. Whatever situation you are in, God Almighty will take you from glory to glory. Pray along in faith in Jesus' name. Prophet T.B. Joshua leads the congregation of the Synagogue Church of All Nations and viewers worldwide in a time of powerful prayer, knowing that prayer changes our focus and faith causes things to happen. Viewers, as you join Prophet T.B. Joshua in this time of prayer, believe by faith that every demonic authority over your life will be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Watch God's power, trust Him, and break the key or hold of Satan over your life, over your business, over your marital life and destiny. Viewers all over the world, as you watch God's power, trust Him, trust Him, trust Him, trust Him, trust Him, and begin, begin to break the grip Oh, hold of Satan over your life, over your business, over your life. Over your business, over your marital life, over your destiny. In the name of Jesus, break it, break it, break it, break it. Break it, break it, break it. You are breaking. Break it, break it, break it, break it. In the name of Jesus, I begin to break it. They have been circled. They have been circled. Circle of poverty. Circle of poverty. Circle of poverty. Circle of circle, circle of sickness, disease. In your home. In your home. From generator to generator. In the name of Jesus, it is time to break it right now. Break this circle. Break it like Break it like In the name of Jesus. Élève ta voix de la présence de Dieu. Prise aujourd'hui tous les jours du diable dans ta vie, dans ton foyer, dans ton mariage, dans tes affaires. Dans le nom puissant de Jésus-Christ. Dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Prise les générations générations au nom de Jésus. Détruis les réalités au nom de Jésus. Tout ce qui est du diable dans ta vie, tu l'as prise aujourd'hui dans la présence de Dieu. Prie. Remember, prayer changes us. Faith changes things. Viewers all over the world, as you continue to pray along with Prophet TB Joshua, Remain in an attitude of prayer. Open your lips. Have faith and get connected to the heavenly frequency. Remember, the belief in our hearts is released by faith out of our mouths. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the words all over the world, as you watch God's power, trust Him. Trust Him. Trust Him. Jesus holds the key to your life. Begin to break Hold of Satan over your business, over your career, over your life, over your marital life, over your dancing. I say, break it, break it. Demonic authority over you. Break it right now. 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 In the name of Jesus, begin to break him. Begin to break him. I can see you being released. Your business. Your career, your life, your marital life, your finances, I can see them be released in the name of Jesus. Hey, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Su vida matrimonial libre en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo. Tu es dans la présence de Dieu qui tient la clé de ta vie. Prise toute autorité témoignage contre ta vie, contre ton foyer, contre tes finances. C'est l'heure de la liberté au nom de Jésus. Élève ta voix et prise-les au nom de Jésus. Whatever the people had eaten through dreams, that is nightmares, or from the table of the enemy, is being flushed out by the blood of Jesus Christ. Viewers, wherever you are, touch the place where you are having sickness or pain and experience it being washed away by the blood of Jesus Christ as you pray along in faith with Prophet TB Joshua. Viewers, all over the world, whatever you might have ate 
Qui a commis l'or. Through dream. What you call nightmare. Ah, from the table. Of the enemy. From the table. Of the adversary. From the table. Of the demon. Watch it out. By the blood of Jesus. Watch it away. By the blood of Jesus. Come on, come on. Watch it out. Watch it out. Watch it out. Watch it out. Flush it away. Flush it away. Watch it away. Flush it out. By the blood. By the blood. By the blood of Jesus. Open your lips and begin to watch it out. Watch it away. Watch it away. Touch your stomach. Touch your pain. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Wherever you have the pain. Touch it. 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 Begin to touch it. Touch that pain. Are you blind? Touch your eyes. Right now. Begin to touch. Touch it. Watch it away. By the blood of Jesus. Watch it away. By the blood of Jesus. Flush it out. By the blood of Jesus. Right now. Open your lips. Open your lips, open your lips. Begin to watch it out. Abra sus labios y empiece a lavar todo lo que haya comido de la mesa del adversario, de sus sueños, de su pesadilla. Lávelo en el nombre poderoso de Jesucristo por la sangre de Jesucristo. Là où tu as mal, open your lips, open your lips. Ouvre tes lèvres. Tout ce que tu as mangé dans les rêves, sur la table du diable, sur la table de l'ennemi, et qui a posé ta vie, lave-les par le sang de Jésus. Mets la main là où tu as mal, et par le sang de Jésus, et lave ça hors de ta vie au nom de Jésus. The people begin to confess their release in the name of Jesus Christ. Viewers, right now, confess your release and thank God for breaking the grip or hold of Satan over your life and destiny. And share your testimony of how God has been faithful to you. Demons all over the world. As you walk God's path, I know you trust Him. Never a sickness He cannot heal. Never a distinct. Cannot kill. Never a burden they cannot bear. Right now, begin to confess your release. Confess your release. Your business. Your finances. Your marital life. Your career. Your marital life. Your life. Your destiny has been released in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Good morning, my business. Good morning, my finances. Good morning, my career. Good morning, my life. Good morning, my destiny. It is a new dawn. A new dawn. A new dawn. Indeed. C'est un nouveau commencement pour toujours. Viewers all over the world, I want you right now begin to share your testimony, how God has been faithful to you. How God has been faithful to you. Chers téléspectateurs, partagez votre témoignage, comment Dieu a été fidèle, bon envers vous. Partagez votre testimony, comment Dieu a été bon envers vous. Thank Jesus for breaking the grip or hold of Satan over your life. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank you, Jesus, for breaking the grip or hold of Satan over my life, over my business, over my finances, over my career, over my life, over my destiny. Thank you for breaking them. Give thanks to God, give thanks to God. Viewers all around the world, this is your moment of freedom and victory. Touch the screen of your television right now by faith and disengage yourself from all satanic bondage. Stretch your hand, viewers, all over the world, anywhere you are. Où que vous as, soyez? Anywhere you are, as you watch God's power, begin to break every demonic authority over you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you watch God's power. Begin to disengage yourself. 
Déconnectez-vous. From the whole of Satan over your business, sur ta vie. from the whole of Satan over your health, over your career, over your life, over your destiny, in the name of Jesus Christ, as you watch God's power begin to free yourself from the grip of Satan over your business. Over your health, over your health, over your health, what is that sickness? Never a sickness Jesus cannot heal. Never a disease Jesus cannot cure. What is that burden? Begin to disengage yourself. Begin to disengage yourself. Begin to disengage yourself. Begin to free yourself from the whole of Satan, from the grip of Satan. In the name of Jesus, I can see you being released. Your business, your health, your career, your life, your marital life. Your destiny, votre destiny destino, has been released. Has been liberated. Praise be to God. Gloire à Dieu. In Jesus Christ's name. Au nom de Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Merci, Seigneur. Viewers, faith is the transformative power of the universe. By faith, you can change from what you are to what you want to become. Prayer changes our focus, and faith causes things to happen. Do you watch all over the world? As you watch God's power, begin to release yourself. Release yourself from the grip of Satan over your business, from the grip of Satan over your career, from the grip of Satan over your life, from the grip of Satan over your marital life, from the grip of Satan over your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, I can see you being released. Your business. Your health, your business, your finances, your business, your marital life, your business, your life, your destiny are being released in the name of Jesus. Praise be to God. As you pray with Prophet T.B. Joshua, believe that Jesus Christ has broken the chains of satanic oppression and released your destiny. Viewers all over the world, the right hand of God is power. As you watch God's power, Así begin to release yourself. Libérez begin to free yourself Libérez from the grip of Satan, de la de from the hose of Satan over your business, over your career, over your life, over your marital life, over your destiny, I can see you being released. Your business, your career, your health. What is your sickness? What kind of sickness? Whatever name they call it, never a sickness Jesus cannot heal. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Release yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. I can see you being released. Your career being released. Your health being released. Your marital life being released. Your life being released. Your finances be released. Your destiny be released. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise be to God. Thank you, Lord. It is God's will to answer your prayer. It is the will of God for you to be restored back to the original position in which He created you. Believe right now that you have been released into your divine destiny. Viewers all over the world, Telespectateurs, where can we go from his presence? As you watch God's power, begin to release yourself. Begin to disengage yourself. Begin to free yourself from the grip of Satan. Your 
business, sur tes affaires, sur votre vie, sur votre vie, sur votre health, sur votre santé, sur votre mariage, sur votre destin, votre destin. Je dis, begin to free yourself, begin to disengage yourself, dégagez-vous from the hold of Satan, over your business, over your finances, over your life, over your destin. In the name of Jesus Christ, I can say you've been released. Je vois être libre. Your business, vos affaires, your career, votre carrière, your health, votre santé, your life. Votre vie, your marital life. votre mariage. Right now, your destiny, your destiny has been released. Has been released. In, the In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise be to God. In Jesus Christ's name. Au nom de Jésus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. God is still saying something. Confirmations of prophecy coming up next on Emmanuel TV. This is Emmanuel TV. Wisdom consists of all gracious, heavily thoughts of God, embodied in Christ for the enlightenment of our soul, ability to communicate this wisdom to others is the best and highest spiritual gift communicated to others knowledge means to explain the unfolding and the correlation of gospel facts prophecy is not necessarily predicting future events but preaching teaching the way with power <laughs> tell your neighbor speak forward this power we are talking about such comes true or because of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And those who are baptized in the Holy Spirit will not stand anywhere and begin to condemn because there is an authority in their mouth. If you have authority, that authority is to build. Most of our troubles are torn troubles. Each prophecy said these men are from God their message is true believe them prophet pastor are sent to utter the deep things of God for the conviction of sin, for edification and comfort. Dieu est en train de dire quelque chose. Quand le serviteur de Dieu parle, les sages écoutent. Deutéronome chapitre 18 et verset 22. Dieu est en train de dire quelque chose. Le 6 août 2012, le prophète Tibi Joshua donne une prophétie concernant la sécurité intérieure des États-Unis. 
Il appela la congrégation et les téléspectateurs du monde entier à prier pour cette nation, disant que le massacre qui s'est déroulé récemment dans une salle de cinéma va encore se reproduire. Écoutons ces paroles. Prions pour la nation des états unis que le massacre qui a eu lieu dans une salle de cinéma davantage, davantage encore se reproduire. Prions pour cette nation. Cela va continuer, cela va continuer. Cela concerne la sécurité intérieure. En confirmation des paroles du prophète, le vendredi 24 août 2012, les nouvelles brèves ont fait la une de toutes les stations de télévision, disant que dans la ville de New York aux états unis un ancien salarié a causé le chaos en face de l'Empire State Building. Écoutons les nouvelles. Right, you see there on the right of your screen the scene in New York City where a gunman apparently uh, opened fire in the streets right outside the, uh, the uh, Empire State Building. Two people, including the shooter, were killed. He was taken down by police and uh, eight others were wounded. Uh, witnesses say that the gunman had a large weapon. He was shot, as I said, three times by police. There were reports that at one point a security guard was chasing him down Fifth Avenue and helped alert police who then uh, got involved and shot the gunman. Uh, you can see that authorities have converged on the scene. They've sealed off a large area. The gunman's body was only just removed in the last 20 minutes or so. We're expecting New York City Mayor. He is on the scene. We are expecting him to speak in the minutes ahead. We'll keep you apprised. Welcome back to our breaking news. The shooting today outside New York's Empire State Building. Uh, we've just gotten surveillance video from the police department. Now, it is graphic. We're just going to show you two, uh, just a limited amount of times uh, because we think it could speak volumes about why police shot the gunman dead and also about how other people were shot as well. Jeffrey Johnson is the shooter. You can see him at the top of your screen. There he is with the gun. There's, you see the two police officers dividing and then he falls to the ground. He had just already killed a former co-worker. He was walking away. He pulled the weapon uh, on the officers following him and bystanders scrambled away and that's when the gunman killed him, uh, when the police killed him. Now, as we said, all this happened right outside the Empire State Building. It was rush hour. The area was packed with tourists and workers. The video just saw was part of the aftermath. There's other video as well that's too graphic. I'm not going to show you, but, but here's how all of this played out. This is the aftermath of a gunman opening fire in one of the most crowded streets in America. Hey, just show him. Police say they fired at this man, identified as 58-year-old Jeffrey Johnson, after he shot at them. At this point in the video, he still appears to be alive. Just minutes before Johnson, dressed in a business suit and carrying a briefcase, navigated the crowds around the Empire State Building, found his target, and pulled out a 45 caliber semi-automatic pistol. At 9.03 this morning, in front of 10 West 33rd Street, a disgruntled former employee of a company at that address shot and killed a former co-worker, striking him three times. Police say Johnson had been laid off from his job as a women's accessory designer last year. His victim, 41-year-old Steve Ercolino, was a vice president there. Police say Johnson and Ercolino had a long-standing dispute over allegations of harassment, and both men had filed prior complaints against one another. A co-worker of Ercolino's was one right next to him when they both saw Johnson lurking. She said, quote, I saw him pull a gun out from his jacket and I thought to myself, oh my God, he's going to shoot him. Steve screamed, Jeff shot him, and I just turned and ran. Jeffrey Johnson then fled with a 45 caliber handgun secreted in a black bag that he had under his arm. A construction worker who had followed Johnson from West 33rd Street alerted two uniformed police officers Chaos erupted as bystanders ran for cover and police pursued Johnson. As the two officers approached Johnson, he pulled his 45 caliber semi-automatic pistol from his bag and fired on the officers who returned fire. Police fired 14 rounds, some of which are believed to have hit eight innocent bystanders. I heard the gunshots and we looked towards the left and saw three or four people fall. The whole entire crosswalk emptied and people were running. Johnson went down immediately. They rolled him over on his stomach and cuffed him, kicked the gun away from him. After one man was killed, eight people wounded and hundreds of people ran for their lives. Jeffrey Johnson died in the shadow of the Empire State Building.
Breaking news from New York City. New York City Mayor Mike Bloomberg giving a press conference now on what took place earlier well, this good morning. morning. Uh, I'm here with Police Commissioner Kelly, Chief of the Department Joe Esposito, and uh, Christine Quinn, the Speaker of the City Council and whose district we are in. Uh, Commissioner Kelly will fill you in on more of the details, but earlier this morning, a little after 9 a.m., a man who had been fired from his job about a year or so began shooting near the Empire State Building but on the street. He killed one person and at least nine other people were shot and some may have been shot accidentally by police officers who responded immediately and while confronting the suspect and fatally shooting him uh, unfortunately there may have been other victims as well. All of those are not seriously wounded and there is no expectation that any of them uh, will do anything other than recover quickly. Uh, I ask everyone to keep the victims in their uh, thoughts and in their prayers. This is a terrible tragedy and there's no doubt that the situation would have been even more tragic uh, but for some extraordinary acts of heroism. Every day, as you know, our police officers put their lives on the line to protect us. They did so again today, responding immediately and they were joined by a number of civilians whose bravery and assistance probably also saved lives. And New York City, as you know, is the safest big city in the country and we're on pace to have a record no, low number of murders this year, but we are not immune to the national problem of gun violence. Pray for the nation of America. That's massacre that happened in the theater. More is coming, more, more, more. Pray for the nation. This will continue, will continue. This is Homeland Security. Prions pour la nation des États-Unis. Que le massacre qui a eu lieu dans une salle de cinéma, davantage, davantage encore, va se reproduire. Prions pour cette nation. Cela va continuer, cela va continuer. Cela concerne la sécurité intérieure. Nous, à Emmanuel Télévision et à la synagogue église de toutes les nations, prions pour cette nation des États-Unis et pour toutes les familles de ceux qui ont été victimes de cette tragédie. Que Dieu leur donne la force, le courage et la conviction pour tenir ferme face à cette tragédie. Dans le nom puissant de Jésus. Prophecy does not refer to the prophecy of things on head and unknown, but of both announced and unknown. Prophecy implies a special insight into revealed truth and a great faculty of making them and their consequences known to others. That is prophecy. Prophets were motivated to utter the deep things of God for the condition of sin, for edification and comfort. This is Emmanuel TV. We talk to God today. We do not know what our future holds, but He does. We do not know how to satisfy the needs of our own life, but He does. A man may be sick and yet be a friend of God. A man may be poor and yet be a candidate of heaven. Our situation is different from others. Tell your neighbor, our situation is different from others. Our sickness is different from others. Others are caused by sin.
our situation is different from others. So therefore, don't let your situation mislead you. Weapon of propaganda is in the hands of false people. Weapon of war is in the hands of who? False people. Weapon of intimidation is in the hands of false people. Weapon of campaign of cannoning is in the hands of false people. This woman has come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations all the way from South Africa with a long list of diverse sicknesses displayed on her medical report. As written on the medical report, the main problem she came with was an abdominal hernia among related problems. We can see the desperate look on her face that she is in dire need of divine healing from the Master Healer, Jesus Christ. On the table in front of her, some of the medications she had brought with her all the way from South Africa. They were given to her by medical professionals, which she had to take several times daily in hopes of solving her problem. She has come believing Jesus Christ will set her free from her problems because never a sickness or disease Jesus Christ cannot heal. He is the same yesterday, today and forever. His power and effectiveness has not changed. I'm Elaine van Niekerk. I'm coming from South Africa and I'm 49 years old. Uh, I've got the abdominal hernia. I'm using a hernia support. Um, I've got tendonitis of the right ankle. Also clotting of the blood. Arthritis of the small fingers. Back pain. And I'm, of course I'm here for a breakthrough spiritually and how long have you suffered from these problems um, more or less I will say two years it's going for two years yeah cannot move freely um, it's very painful and most most of the time I must depend on my husband to carry heavy, heavy baggage or even in the kitchen picking up the MC pot is even painful and it's causing pain on my stomach. Uh, the reason why I must wear the support is to support this hernia because climbing stairs up and down is very painful. Uh, doing any homework uh, is painful. I wear it like every day. I have to sleep with it. And can you show us the support that you're wearing right now? It's right around my body and of course it's over here. It is un uncomfortable because it's uh, summer and it's uh, sweating and it's, it's not nice to wear it. But uh, I have to wear it. I've got no option. I must wear it. The cause of the hernia was because of the operation that I had last year. And all the side effects of the operation that went over to three operations the 27th of March, the 28th of March and again in June uh, cause that it was three times cut over here my stomach and therefore I drove my motor car after nine weeks and that caused the hernia and uh, since then I'm suffering all the way along went to see a doctor, a professor asking him please to operate and f uh, fix this uh, hernia because it's uh, endless pain and causing also my back pain and he just refused point blank and he said to me no they w he won't operate on me because of what I went through last year um, he refused point blank he said I won't make it so I knew God will heal me actually three doctors said to me you must never ever let anybody operate on you because you won't make it because they are just scared for the septicemia that I had in hospital after the operation uh, yeah of course 
they refused. They said no, because I was 14 days, like in ICU, 31 days in hospital. So they don't want to risk my life again. And Madam, we can see um, some medication in front of us. Uh, can you please explain to us what is this medication in front of you? If you can just pick each one up and tell us what it is and what you're using it for. Uh, this one is a strong one. It's lentogestic for pain the abdominal and also for my back because of the abdominal the hernia uh, it causes back pain and this is pain no more I use it three times a day uh, the two tablets so yeah this is for the pain for the hernia and also for my back this one is for uh, embolism uh, clotting of the blood that's also a problem caused by that operation. I had embolism in my lungs, pulmonary embolism. So, yeah, I believe God's going to heal me and my blood is going to be right of the prayer. And can you tell us what happens if you don't take this medication? If I don't take the medication of the blood it can cause embolism and of course that's that's very severe that's fatal it can be fatal in your it can cause blood blood clots in your lungs and uh, the lymph the painkillers I must, I must I must stay on the painkillers because of the pain that I'm experiencing just to relieve so that I can just get some sleep yeah. And how did you come to hear about the Synagogue Church of All Nations? I've watched Emmanuel TV and I uh, saw the prophet TV Joshua and I saw all the miracles that was done by him and I thought God if you can do it for those people you can do it for me I know I know just a prayer and I know I will be healed in Jesus name Amen. We believe and pray with you that Jesus Christ will use his anointed servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua, to heal you and to set you free from all of your problems in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the prayer line section of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, where visitors from all over the world have come to experience the power of God, which will transform their lives from sickness to health and from bondage to freedom. Among them, is Mrs. Eileen Van Niekerk, waiting in eager expectation for a touch. The power of God continues to flow through Prophet T.B. Joshua as he set people free from every sickness, disease and affliction and whatever that is tormenting their lives. For when the power of God is present, darkness has no hiding place. The man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, moved towards her as she lifts her hands thanking God for the job already done. He takes off the waist brace from her, which she uses in supporting herself, and places her hands on her stomach as divine operation takes place in the life of Mrs. Eileen. God has no hands but our hands to do his work. Here you can see the hands of Prophet T.B. Joshua being used by God to bring healing, restoration, and comfort. Prophet T.B. Joshua declares her free and she waves her hands, giving thanks to God for the mighty healing she had just received. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I worship and I praise you. I honor you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I get the pain here. No pain. No pain. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Nothing. After the prayer of Prophet T. Joshua, she shakes her stomach and breaks into a run. Before the prayer, this simple act would have caused her great pain and discomfort due to the abdominal hernia and the back pain she has been suffering from. Emotionally overwhelmed by the grace and majesty of our Lord Jesus Christ as his unlimited power of healing has worked in her life. She embraces Prophet T.B. Joshua, thanking God for the miraculous healing 
she had just received. Some time later, the Imano TV team paid a visit to Mrs. Eling in her hometown in Port Elizabeth in South Africa to hear her testimony of how God's grace had shed light on her dark moments and transformed the tension and pressure within her into holy relaxation. The team pulled up outside her house on the outskirts of the beautiful town of Port Elizabeth. She and her husband come out to greet the team and after a warm welcome, lead them into her home. They come into the living room and have their seat. Let's hear the radical transformation from Mrs. Eileen Van Nakek. Greetings in Jesus' name. I'm Catherine and I'm here with the Emmanuel TV team. We're in the beautiful Port Elizabeth in South Africa to hear a beautiful testimony. We're here in the home of the lady who has the testimony to share with us. So please, madam, can you start by telling us your name? My name is Elaine van die Kerk. I'm in South Africa, Port Elizabeth, and I'm 49 years old. And we know that you had an encounter with Jesus Christ who totally transformed your life from sickness to health. But where did it all begin? It started actually in 2004. Uh, there are esophagus. Um, by means of two years that I couldn't eat properly as all the soft purity food that I could only eat. And it became so bad that the, even the water that I drank came out of my nose. So then I had to seek for a real, real uh, 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 solution for my problem. So I went to the doctor on the 27th of March. He said he's going to operate. And he operated and it was a success. But the, something happened with my stomach. There was a little cut or hole and uh, that causes uh, a septicemia in a very high degree and uh, nearly caused my life and of course of the septicemia they gave high doses of antibiotics and of course also afterwards I had this um, blood clots in my lungs and because of that, I, that the doctor put me on warfarin to thin my blood and if I don't take that uh, after a day or two, then I faint. So therefore, it, is, it was severe blood clots in my lungs and the Jesus just protected me there. And the third time it happened that uh, the, a sponge was left behind in my stomach over here. And that again uh, nearly caused my, my death. And after that... Um, it caused a hernia because of three, three times operation. It was very weak, my stomach. So it caused a, a, a big hernia, abdominal hernia. So it was very painful, very uncomfortable. And all, also, the, because of the high doses of antibiotic, it caused the, the nerve points in my back, dam it damaged the nerve points. It was so severe, I was like crying day and night. I couldn't sit against a, a couch or I couldn't lay down. I was walking up and down, up and down, up and down. And I was seeking the Lord's face, seeking, and I was praying. And it was so painful. Whereas before, what were the means, that measures that they took to um, try to remove the pain? They absolutely couldn't do anything. Uh, they gave me injections in my back. It lasted only for a month and two weeks. And they gave me 20 injections in my back. It didn't work, of course. And they said to me, I must live with it. And I mustn't let, they let anybody operate on me with my hernia. Then I asked them why. Because they say because of the septicemia I had in the hospital last year, it will be with or I won't make it. I won't make it. They operate on you. Just live with your hernia. I thought it's because of the hernia that, my, that the pain is in my back. But he said it wasn't because of the hernia, it was because of the uh, damaged nerve points, the severe pain in my back. Then I said, Lord Jesus, what, what am I going to do because of this? Um, I cannot make a bed, I cannot drive a car, I cannot uh, pick up pots and everybody must has always assist me and always help me carry bags, uh, carry pots, 
take a big uh, bowl out of the cupboard. So yeah, I, I was really terribly depressed. I wasn't myself. I wasn't like my old Elaine. I couldn't do things for myself. I'm a very independent person. So I have to call my husband, my child, my domestic worker to help me. And I said to the doctor, actually the surgeon, I said to him, I know you cannot do anything for me, but God will do a miracle in my life. I mean, I know definitely that God did perform a miracle in your life. But how did you get to that point? How did you find out about the Synagogue Church for All Nations? My husband actually heard from a, a, a church member about Emmanuel TV. So we installed the, the Emmanuel TV. We, we call it the God's Channel. And we watched for eight months. I sat in that chair. And I watched every morning my breakfast on my lap. And I watched and I saw all the healings, all the sermons, all the preaching going out from Prophet T.B. Joshua. And my, it just encourages my faith, my faith all the time. And whilst he talking and praying and the healings coming, and I saw the healings, no, nothing added or taken away out of the Bible. I saw this as a genuine man of God, a genuine prophet that the Lord Jesus is using. So I, I claim that miracle in Jesus' name every day, every morning. And it, of course it built my faith uh, watching the Emmanuel TV. Then my husband decided we're going over to Lagos, Nigeria. So we went there and we landed there and the people of Emmanuel came and fetched us. So yeah, that's how we landed there. And so when the, we stood there in the prayer line that Sunday on the 2nd of September, Prophet TV Joshua, he came and he prayed. So he took my hand and I went backwards and forwards. He took my two hands, he laid it on my hernia and he put his hand over, me, over my hand and he started praying. Then he took off the support, the hernia support, because when I walk or climb stairs, it, it, it was very painful. So he took off the brace and when he took off the brace and he said to me, you're free, I took it in faith. I took my healing in faith. So of course I start jumping and run, running and I say, thank you Lord Jesus, you healed me completely. I was so excited and I ran down and I ran backwards and I came down and I ran again. And yeah, I was picking up my heels and my legs like running out of a block and were you able to do this before your healing no no definitely not what was your experience before the healing when you moved around was it easy for you to move or it wasn't easy to move around because all all the different types of movements i couldn't make it was very very difficult and painful i avoid steps i just uh, climb into a lift and up i go I just thank the Lord Jesus and I cannot stop thanking Jesus up till today for my healing because I know when He heals your body, it is a complete healing. He doesn't do half, half the work. So He healed my body completely. So after receiving the prayer from Prophet TB Joshua, when you walked this, this time, did you notice a difference? When they said we can go to the dining room, and uh, have and we can go and eat now. I start running the 30 stairs, and my husband said to me, "You must be careful." I said, "For what? I'm healed. Come." And I ran up the stairs, and when I came there, on the uh, at the top, I felt my uh, my strength is back. I wasn't puffing and huffing and puffing. I was just 100%. Oh, this is this is wonderful. No, yeah, my you... spirit was uplifted. Amen. Not only were you walking freely, but you were running freely and breathing freely. Breathing but freely. You mentioned that you were having blood clots on your, ch on your lungs chest. and your chest before. Yeah. And you also mentioned that you had a serious back problem that caused you to be tired, even to make you sit down. Yes. But what about that problem? How, how did the your back... The back problem is it's gone. It's completely gone. I'm healed. <laughs> well, glory be to God. Glory to God. And are you feeling any pain now? No pain, nothing. There's one other area we want to ask you about. Before you said that um, for two years you weren't able to eat normally, but you had to have liquid food. Mm 
After the healing, what happened to your eating habits? No, it's 100%. No problem. I eat everything, anything. <laughs> uh, glory be to God. Glory to God. This is the evidence of Jesus Christ is lives changed. Yes. Now we know that it's not only you that would have been affected by your improved health condition, but others too would have noticed the change in your system, like the doctor who'd been treating you all this time. What did the doctor say when you uh, went to see her? I've got it here. It says here to my concern. Above is known to my practice plus plus minus 20 years. The severe condition and serious condition is known to you. Today on examination she is cheerfully without any complaints of pain. The spinal pain has gone. Her asthma has cleared up. Symptoms of tiredness has gone. Thank you Jesus. Pray God. Amen. The doctor said you said to me you're a new person. I can see that. You're smiling and you're cheerful. And I just, I actually gave him a CD to say, listen to my testimony. I testified in church and about this wonderful miracle that God did, did for me. Because what man cannot do, God did for me. Well, what can we say except thank you, Jesus Christ, for everything he's been doing in your life. You see, this is solid evidence that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Amen. Apart from these things that Dr. has noticed, what have you noticed that you can now do which you couldn't do before? Oh, I can climb stairs. I actually ran the stairs now um, without any effort. I, dri I drive my car. I do the beds. I do the housework. Uh, anything, anything. I do my movements. I even sit... I even want to go and do some aerobic classes now. Mm. I feel so fit and I'm so uplifted in my spiritual life. So this is a radical transformation yes. that has taken place yes. in your life. My husband actually said to me, uh, he's married to a new wife. Oh. <laughs> glory be to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you very much for you know, sharing your experience. We've learned a lot from you today. And what would your advice be to those people out there who are facing a similar problem like you once faced? I can just tell the world outside there, Jesus is real. He's the healer. He's today, tomorrow, and forever the same. Just keep the faith and pray, and, and He will answer your prayer at His own time, at the right time. Never too late, but always on time. Um, if He can do it for me, He can do it for you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Dear, thank you for joining us on this program today. We want you to get the full picture of exactly what was happening in Elaine's life and also in the life of those around her. That's why right now we're to hear from her husband. Hello, sir. Hello. Thank you very much for joining us today on the program. It's a privilege. Can you please let us know your name? Yes, I'm um, Jacobus van die Kerk. I'm the pastor of the Full Gospel Church here in Kabiga, Port, Port Elizabeth, uh, since 1996 already. Yeah. Oh. That's wonderful. And uh, we know that you're the husband of Elaine, is that right? That's right. And uh, when she went through a difficult time, can you share with us the experience that you went through? What did you face at that time? When she was very, very ill, it was very traumatic. And uh, we, we really thought that uh, she won't make it, but prayed every day and trusted God to pull her through. And we're so glad that he did. But then she had all this uh, trauma of uh, uh, severe back pain and there was no answer, no diagnosis, everyone guessed and we were sent from one place to the other and so on. Uh, in any case, we really trusted the Lord, you know, but eventually uh, uh, we, we decided, no, we must go to Lagos because uh, we installed this... Uh, and we uh, got to know uh, the, the whole ministry through Emmanuel TV and um, uh, God led us and, and uh, we're so glad that on the 2nd of September she received complete healing. You know, it was so amazing when the, um, the prophet prayed for her. It was as if that, uh, that spirit of sickness, of infirmity that was upon her just left, you know. It was just like she was uh, just uh, 
just opened up. The heaven just opened up, and uh, she was a new person. Really, it was uh, something that uh, that happened that you you just never ever can forget. Wow, we thank God. <laughs> but anyway, God guides; He provides. Oh, God is so good. And before that time, there would be many things you noticed in the house that you know she wasn't able to do at that time. Oh yes, it was. It was uh, uh, terrible, you know. I mean, she she couldn't do the dishes and and so on. Um, uh, everything was uh, was an effort. And uh, but, but I got such a respect for her because in all her duties as uh, as uh, 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 my wife in the church and so forth and functions that she uh, usually organised and so forth, she was there. But she couldn't do what she really wanted to do, and that frustrated her t- terribly. Uh, <clears throat> just over the weekend, we had a function. And after the function, uh, I, I looked into the kitchen and so forth, and there was, she was standing, uh, washing dishes and everything. And, and uh, she, she's just absolutely normal now, doing everything that she couldn't do. Oh, yes. this is wonderful. Yes. And now you can see that she's doing everything that, that she used to before. Yes. So that now everything is normal. Absolutely. And a role, uh, a role as wife, as um, uh, uh, a person that stands in the work of God, she's back to normal. Absolutely normal. So Jesus Christ is the repairer, the restorer, and the redeemer of our lives. Oh, absolutely. And, and we... We are absolutely dedicated to the Lord, and um, we want Christ to express Himself by His Spirit through our lives. That's our only aim. And we know that God sometimes uses foolish um, things in, in order to reveal His purpose, in order in That's order to right. glorify His name. That's right. And now, um, through all this, we know that other people have have, been, have gone through the same thing that you faced. Hmm. Uh, what would your advice be to people as yourself, your husband of, or someone very close to you, someone that's going through a bad health condition like this? What would your advice be to them? Well, first of all, I would, I would say that um, uh, a person must make a total uh, dedication uh, to the Lord. You must just hand over everything to the Lord. Um, uh, get rid of sin. Uh, just commit everything. Grant forgiveness, you know, put things right. Uh, life is too short to, to hang on on all these old issues. And commit yourself to the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and then trust God for your healing. And um, uh, God has, has set people in His church, uh, worldwide, in His church, with, with, with the gifts and the ministry. And Prophet Joshua obviously is a real man of God. And uh, he's blessed, uh, and and this is his calling to to minister in this way, you know. And uh, if God leads you to 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 uh, contact uh, uh, the synagogue church of all nations, I think uh, you will never ever regret it. Uh, I'm, I would advise you to do that. Amen. Well, we thank you so much for for everything, for sharing your testimony with us. And of course for being faithful to God and following where he guides. Because where he guides, his provision be. And surely we've seen that in the case of your wife yes. and your family. So thank you very much for joining us and, and spending your time with us here on Emmanuel TV. Thank you. We're full of joy and uh, gratefulness toward, toward the Lord. And also to you guys that uh, came all the way to this. Thank you so much. So viewers, we believe that you've really received a lot today, knowing that it's not just all up to God, but you too have a role to play. But that faith, you know, it starts in weak form. So if you believe that your faith is not enough, go to Jesus and take the faith that he's ready to give you. This is Catherine with the Emmanuel T team. You know that your miracle is on its way to you too. Let's take God at his word and see what will happen. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. On the left side of the screen, we can see the pitiful and helpless condition Mrs. Elin came with to the synagogue, Church of All Nations in Lagos, Nigeria, with a waist brace supporting her. And on the right side, we can see how she exercises her body freely, moving side by side, up and down, without any pain or discomfort. She
Jesus Christ is the master healer. Never a sickness he cannot heal. Never a problem he cannot solve. Glory be to God. Don't be ruled by your situation. Your situation could be poverty. Your situation could be sickness. Your situation could be set back. Your situation could be any foolish thing. The rich must not concentrate on their wealth. And the poor should not concentrate on their poverty. Because a man may be poor and yet be a friend of God. A man may be poor and yet be a candidate of heaven. A man may be sick in body and yet be a candidate of heaven. The sick should not concentrate on their sickness. My Bible made me to understand that troubles is to teach us and persistent in prayer. Many Christians today worry with mama complain every day about their situation because their life are centered on how they are doing how they are feeling how they are treated apostle gives an account of the method god took to keep him humble the way and manner god executes is plan in our life differ life is not a playing ground it is a battlefield we are here for a short season tell your neighbor we are here for a short season life is not a playing ground it is a battlefield we are here for a short season there will be thorn in our flesh there will be things punking us disappointing us apostle Paul gives an account of the method God took to keep him humble. When God's people communicate their experiences, let them always remember to take note of what God has done to keep them humble. As well as what God has done in favor to them. Apostle Paul prayed earnestly to God for the removal of this tongue, for the removal of this song. Note. Prayer is a psalm for every soul, a remedy for every malady. When we are afflicted with tongue in our flesh, we should give ourselves to prayer. He prayed earnestly and repeated his request. He besought the Lord this means if an answer is not given to the first prayer nor 
to the seven. We must hold on and hold out till we receive an answer. Apostle was pained with a tongue in his flesh and buffet with a messenger of Satan. What tongue was? We are much in the dark what this was whether some great trouble or some great temptation something it was an acute bodily pain or sickness what apostle calls a tongue was for a time very grievous to him was for a time very grievous to him but the tongue cries war for us and with which he was crowned sanctifies and they make easy all the tongue in our flesh temptation to sin are most grievous tongues tell your neighbor temptation to sin are most grievous tongue they are messengers of Satan remember the tempter killed Jesus Jesus did not go to tempter <laughs> when we tempt Satan to tempt us we provoke God to leave us on our own power we provoke him to withdraw his power and leave us on our own power it is true you are given power to burn and to lose but this should not be exercised at our own will if God loves us he will hide pride from us. Tell your neighbor, if God loves us, He will hide pride from us and keep us from being exalted above major spiritual burdens are ordered to cure spiritual pride. Paul was pained with a tongue that is spiritual body so whatever situation you are in now as a Christian it may be to prepare you for the challenges it may be to keep you for a new level it may be to strengthen your desire This is Emmanuel TV. Emmanuel TV is now available on the local cable TV system in Asif Town, Lahore, Pakistan. Here are some of the many testimonies. We like Emmanuel TV. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. Emmanuel TV. TV, TV, TV. 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 T
پاکستان We fit this dish. This is its size is eight foot, and we set it on the roof of Emmanuel School. We fix with the cable system, and uh, the thousands of people they they watch the Emmanuel TV. This channel we are receiving uh, from the Thaikom Five. So now the thousands of people they are they are they are watching and they are receiving their blessings. And we are We are very thankful to you, the all people, the all the Emmanuel TV partners. So now we are planning and we are praying for the other cable operating system that uh, which will cover all the biggest area. Yohanabad, Yohanabad number two, Khalik Nagar, Triza Town, Asif Town number two, Asif Town number one, Glaxo Town, Hamza Town, Galza Town, FGA Town, Makhan Kaluni, Kanano, Chungi Amar Sidhu, Bahar Kaluni, the all this area, the other cable operating system will cover it. With the will of God and with the help of God, very soon we will be able to cover this. Thank you very much. much may god bless you emmanuel tv is on the cable system watch as the emmanuel tv team flick through the first few channels and then return to emmanuel tv The Emmanuel TV team visits some of the residents in Asif Town who have testimony after watching and praying along with the prophet Joshua on Emmanuel TV in Asif Town. میرا نام عارف رضا مائی نیم از عارف رضا اینڈ آئی لیو ان آسف ٹاؤن لاہور پاکستان Emmanuel TV دیکھنے کی وجہ سے آفٹر واچنگ تو Emmanuel TV God gave us so many blessings in our life and there is a breakthrough in our business there is a breakthrough in our finance and through Prophet TV Jeshwa we receive a lot of blessing before watching Emmanuel TV my daily profit was about 200 or 300 rupees but after watching Emmanuel TV now my daily profit is about 500 or 600 rupees hallelujah main fruit bechta hu actually my business is to sell the fruits so on the donkey cart i sell my fruits thank you Emmanuel TV my name is Arif Raza i am from Pakistan So keep watching Emmanuel TV. Is a donkey for the business. My name is Shahzad. My name is Shahzad, and I live in Asif Town, Lahore, Pakistan. जब से Emmanuel TV देख रहे हैं, I said to the cable operator, I required a Emmanuel TV, and now they gave they gave us a Emmanuel TV. And through the Emmanuel TV, my business has increased. Before the Emmanuel TV, I have no much work, but now I have so much. work in my shop uh, because I am a tailor now I have uh, so much work and God blessed me and God uh, removed my all financial problem through the Emmanuel TV वैसे तो तमाम प्रोग्राम ही देखता हूँ लेकिन जो है ना मंडे नाइट सर्विस आई लाइक ऑल दी प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ दी मैनुअल सीवी बट आई लाइक सो मच मंडे मॉर मंडे मंडे सर्विस बिकॉज़ व्हेन आई सा दी वाइज मैन हुज आर प्रेइंग्स टू दी पीपल दिस प्रोग्राम आई लाइक सो कीप वाचिंग मैनुअल टीवी हालेलुया
मेरा नाम काशिफ है माय नेम इज काशिफ एंड आई लिव इन आसिफ टाउन लाहौर पाकिस्तान हमारी जिंदगी में watched emmanuel tv and uh, we watched prayer and uh, watched many miracles and through the miracles and prayers my christian life has been changed pehle hum main church nahi tha jaya karta i dislike to go to church no i watched the emmanuel tv and i went i i go to the church for meeting and for service this is the great change in my life main unko in se i want to give the advice to people Well, watch the Emmanuel TV because uh, Emmanuel TV is a best way to increasing the faith of the Christian people. मेरा नाम आसिफ है मैं आसिफ टाउन नंबर एक का रहने वाला हूँ मैं मनवल टी वी देखता हूँ इस पर मौजात होते हैं प्रे होती है ये बहुत अच्छा चैनल है जो माई नेम इज आसिफ एंड आई लिव इन आसिफ टाउन नंबर एक लाहौर पाकिस्तान एंड आई लाइक द इमानुअल सी वी एंड आई वॉच मैनी मेरिकल्स आई वॉच द प्रेयर एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रेयर माई लाइफ हैज बीन चेंज माई नेम इज सबा शहजाद आई लिव इन आसिफ टाउन इन पाकिस्तान वी अंडरस्टैंड यू हैव बीन वॉचिंग इमानुअल सी वी इट इज वेरी गुड चैनल इट चेंज ऑन completely my life my husband life and my family life we are we are very close to god for this channel when they worship the choir uh, we very blessed from this and uh, when the man of god uh, tb joshua pray and raise hand we join we join the pray and my family is totally changed and they go with uh, with me in church and they very close to god uh when uh, we don't see this channel uh we are not too much blessed uh but now when uh, we see this channel uh, we are very blessed my name is saba shehzad i am from pakistan and keep watching amanwel tv after visiting another area in lahore pakistan the amanwel tv team entered local public transport known as a rickshaw and saw a new anointing sticker placed there let's listen to the driver's testimony fg don shazad na uh my name is shazad and i live in fg don lahore pakistan I came in church and get this sticker and before the stickers I have many problems in my rickshaw sometimes it damage and many times I'm using most of my money on the on the rickshaw but when I put my stick put the stickers in the rickshaw my rickshaw is safe hallelujah Pastor Allah My name is Pastor Allah Dita I live in Maryam Colony Lahore Pakistan Testimony when pastor asif gave the sticker to me and i put the sticker on my on my home because of the stickers the blessing came in my home in my home no unity and love when i put the sticker on my refrigerator the blessing came and unity came and love came in my home and now we have unity love and peace in my home खुदा ने बरकत दी तो फिर मैं वेन आई ब्लेस थ्रू दिस स्टिकर्स आई कट दी वन स्टिकर्स इन टू सेवन पीसेज एंड गिव टू दी सेवन पीपल वन पर्सन हु हैज नो जॉब वेन आई गिव दी स्टिकर्स टू दैट पर्सन थ्रू दी इन्वाइटिंग एंड थ्रू दी स्टिकर्स ही गोट दी जॉब एंड वन पर्सन वॉज ill and one person has a diseases and through the stickers and through the inviting sticker his diseases went away khuda ka shukriya this is the back side of stickers 
this is also invited peace and I put this paper in my wallet God gave me through this back side of the sticker one motorbike because before this I have no motorbikes my financial condition is not strong but through the stickers and the back side of the sticker which I which always I put in my in my pocket God gave me bike and God remove my financial problem Thanks God, because before these stickers I was pastor but I have no spiritual life. Through these anointing stickers my spiritual life become many much strong. This is the blessing which the Prophet T.B. Joshua have and the, the, that blessing and that anointing come through the stickers to me. I am so happy because I blessed through the stickers. Praise the Lord. We are Gil family and Lahore, Pakistan. TV watching a manual TV. My name is Kuram. My name is Kiam. My name is Isaac. My name is Wabzi. My name, my name is Adil. My name is Ninji. My name is Urab. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. My name is Guzala. And keep watching Emmanuel TV. Hallelujah. I'm keep watching Emmanuel TV. My name is Sajid Khan. I live in Lahore, Pakistan. And keep watching Emmanuel TV. I live in Lahore, Pakistan. And keep watching the Emmanuel TV. Uh, I live in Lahore, Pakistan. Uh, keep watching Emmanuel TV. Yeah. I live in Lahore, Pakistan. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. My name is Haruna Aladita. Uh, I live in Lahore, Pakistan. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. <laughs> Wise man Harry, wise man Christopher, wise man John G, wise man Racine, wise man Daniel. Wise man Harry, wise man John G, wise man Christopher. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That I be light. That I be light. Out, out, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out, out, in the mighty name of Jesus This is Emmanuel TV. Be an Emmanuel TV partner. Visit our website www.emmanuel.tv and click on partnership. Soyez un partenaire d'Emmanuel Television. Visitez notre site internet www.emmanuel.tv et cliquez sur l'icône partnership. C'est social Emmanuel TV. Visita nuestro sitio web www.emmanuel.tv y haz clic en partnership. Coming up next, Standard for Life. Emmanuel TV, bringing you the Gospel of Jesus Christ. Emmanuel TV, changing lives, changing nations, changing the world. The standard for life with Prophet TV Joshua. Ask any Christian. Tanyakan kepada orang Kristen manapun. He will tell you. Dia pasti mengatakan kepada anda that he needs God. Bahwa dia membutuhkan Tuhan. Certainly, 
tiba-tiba we all need god kita semua membutuhkan tuhan but we don't know tetapi kita tidak tahu how much betapa besarnya we really need him kita sungguh-sungguh membutuhkan dia if you know how much you need god kalau anda tahu betapa besarnya anda membutuhkan tuhan you will be in an attitude of prayer saudara itu akan selalu berada dalam sikap doa you will not have certain occasions for prayer because of our limitation in the things of the spirit karena kita itu begitu terbatas dalam perkara-perkara roh we believe kita percaya that we only need jesus bahwa kita itu hanya membutuhkan Yesus when we are in need of healing ketika kita butuh kesembuhan we believe kita percaya we only need him kita hanya membutuhkan dia when we are in need of blessing kalau kita membutuhkan berkat we believe kita percaya we only need him kita hanya membutuhkan when dia when we are in need of prosperity kalau kita hanya membutuhkan kemakmuran far be it tell your neighbor katakan kepada orang di sebelahmu i need jesus Katakan kepada orang di sebelahmu, aku membutuhkan Yesus. More. Lebih. When I'm well. Ketika aku sembuh. Than when I'm sick. Daripada ketika aku sakit. It takes faith to realize that we need God to do everything. As a Christian. Sebagai orang Kristen. The situation you are facing now. Ini untuk menunjukkan apa yang saudara hadapi saat ini. Is a mere challenge to your God. In, sebetulnya apa yang saudara hadapi itu adalah tantangan yang kecil bagi alamu. And he will not allow you to be devoid. Dan dia tidak akan membiarkan saudara itu untuk dikalahkan. Don't despair. Jangan putus asa. You are only being preserved. Saudara itu hanya dipersiapkan. Your proper position and possession in Christ Jesus. Saudara itu sedang ditaruh didudukan pada kedudukan yang tepat dan pada milik yang saudara itu warisi di dalam Kristus. It may be to prepare you for the challenges ahead. Mungkin saja itu untuk mempersiapkan Anda untuk tantangan-tantangan yang ada di depanmu. It may be to keep you for a new level in life. Mungkin saja itu juga untuk menaikkan saudara kepada suatu tingkatan yang baru dalam hidup ini. It may be to reform you for a better position in God. Mungkin saja itu untuk mereformasi saudara supaya saudara berada pada kedudukan yang lebih baik di dalam Tuhan. It may be to preserve you for redemption. Mungkin saja itu untuk melindungi saudara. It may be to strengthen your desire for God. Mungkin itu Mem, untuk memperbesar kerinduanmu kepada Tuhan. When everything around you suggests that there is no hope. Ketika segala sesuatu di sekitarmu itu mengatakan tidak ada harapan. When everything around you suggests that there is no future. Ketika semua di sekelilingmu berkata tidak ada masa depan. You can be happy. Saudara tetap bisa berbahagia. As a Christian. Sebagai orang Kristen. When everything around you suggests. Ketika semua di sekitar Anda itu berkata that all hope is lost. Bahwa harapan itu sudah sirna. You can still find occasions to rejoice in Christ Jesus. Saudara tetap dapat bersukacita di dalam Kristus Yesus. Daniel knew. Daniel tahu. Early enough in his life how much he needed God to do everything. His consistency and faithfulness are a challenge to all Christians especially terutama those busy elites.
terutama orang-orang yang memiliki banyak kebutuhan of www.com generation yaitu saudara yang seperti alam internet www.com generasi ini the secret of rahasia kunci kekuatan Daniel itu was his constancy in prayer adalah betapa Daniel itu uh, konstan stabil dalam kehidupan doanya in prayer That Dia, is where his secret kestabilan doanya itu yang merupakan rahasia kekuatan Daniel what do i mean apa artinya when the goings was good jesus is the lord ketika semuanya baik Yesus itu Tuhan. When the goings were tough, Jesus is the Lord. Ketika semuanya itu sulit dan sukar, Yesus tetap Tuhan. Daniel knew that his enemies. Daniel itu tahu bahwa musuh-musuhnya lost no time in plotting against him. Tidak membuang-buang waktu untuk membuat siasat jahat terhadap dirinya. And Daniel too lost no time in committing himself his way to God through prayer. Tetapi Daniel juga secara pribadi tidak membuang-buang waktu untuk menyerahkan dirinya, menyetak menyerahkan jalan-jalannya kepada Tuhan di dalam doa. Trust in Christ Jesus. Ber- percaya kepada Kristus Yesus. Believing in Christ Jesus. Percaya kepada Kristus Jesus is not a mere intellectual acknowledgement. Itu bukan hanya semata-mata pengakuan yang kita buat dengan intelek atau pikir kita. But tetapi adherence to. Tetapi juga commitment to. Itu adalah suatu komitmen. Itu adalah percaya iman kepada total dependence upon him ketergantungan penyerahan sepenuhnya you always see miracles happen in your presence today saudara itu selalu melihat mujizat-mujizat terjadi di hadapanmu do you know what you mean by miracle saudara tahu apa yang membuat itu terjadi if your prayer An answer. That answer is miracle. Kalau kamu itu membuahkan jawaban, jawaban itu mujizat. If there were no miracles, kalau tidak ada mujizat, there would be no reason for faith. Maka tidak ada alasan untuk iman. God cannot answer your prayer without miracle. Tuhan tidak dapat menjawab doamu tanpa mujizat. A miracle worker is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Pembuat mujizat itu sama dulu, sekarang, dan selamanya. His name is Jesus Christ. Namanya Yesus Kristus. One thing you must know. Satu hal saudara harus tahu. Knowing God. Mengenal Tuhan. Is not only to see. Is miracles. Tidak hanya menyaksikan mujizat-mujizatnya, but also to learn his way. Tetapi juga belajar kehendaknya. This is the beautiful Graha Bethany Church in Surabaya, Indonesia, renowned as the largest church in Southeast Asia, where Prophet T.B. Joshua is about to minister God's word and promises. As the news of Prophet T.B. Joshua and the resurrection power of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was evident at the recent crusade held in nearby Jakarta, Indonesia, has spread far and wide, people the firm expectation that God will perform all he has promised them in Christ Jesus. People are coming in from all over Indonesia. Evening approaches and the venue is fit to arrive 
with great anticipation that today is their encounter with Jesus Christ and their lives will never be the same again. Their hope is obvious as they eagerly match one after the other into the main auditorium to take their seats for the service. What could be responsible for this kind of confidence? Could it be only curiosity? be just because of what they have heard or seen? Or could it be because they believe? Whatever the reason is, one thing is clear. Jesus Christ always wants us to show our genuine willingness to receive of Him. And if their action is genuine, the Holy Spirit will affect it. We're here at Graha Bethany Church in Surabaya in Indonesia where every week 20,000 to 30,000 people gather to worship the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Right here today, the atmosphere of, is one of anticipation as people are preparing to welcome Prophet TB Joshua to come and minister the Word of God to them and God's promises in their lives. As Prophet TB Joshua himself says, the Jesus Christ that I know is Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Just as Apostle Paul said in the book of 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 4, my message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the Spirit's power. So right now, as you witness the powerful work of the Holy Spirit here, don't be surprised that any moment from now you are healed, you are blessed, you are saved, you are delivered, you are set free, you are renewed and you are regenerated. So get ready right now to experience the saving power, the transforming power of our Lord Jesus Christ, transforming the inner self and bringing that joy and freedom that Jesus Christ came to give to you. Saat ini saya sedang berada di gedung Gereja Graha Betani Indonesia, Surabaya, di mana setiap minggunya 20.000 orang berkumpul untuk memuji dan menyembah nama Tuhan. Dan hari ini saya merasakan atmosfer yang luar biasa di mana banyak orang berkumpul untuk menantikan hamba Tuhan yang diurapi yaitu Nabi Tibi Joshua untuk melayani firman Tuhan dan untuk menyampaikan janji-janji Tuhan. Dan sebagaimana Beliau selalu mengatakan bahwa Yesus Kristus yang aku ketahui adalah Yesus Kristus di dalam roh kudus. Sebagaimana disampaikan dalam Alkitab di dalam 1 Korintus 2 ayat yang keempat. Bahwa baik perkataanku maupun pemberitaanku tidak akan aku sampaikan dengan kata-kata hikmat yang meyakinkan. Melainkan dengan keyakinan oleh roh. Karena itu kita melihat kuasa roh kudus sedang terjadi di tempat ini. Dan kita, jangan terkejut bila Anda melihat bahwa Anda sesaat lagi merasakan bahwa Anda diberkati, Anda diber, diberi kesembuhan, Anda dipulihkan, Anda disembuhkan, dan Anda dibebaskan dari segalanya, serta Anda diselamatkan di dalam Yesus Kristus. Kami percaya bahwa dengan kuasa roh kudus kita akan mendapatkan transformasi dalam kehidupan kita menuju kebebasan dan sukacita karena kita mengetahui bahwa Yesus hadir untuk memberi bagi Anda. Mari bersukacita. Kita mau menyanyi berdiri.
Prophet T.B. Joshua has arrived at the VIP entrance of the church where he is welcomed by members of the church committee and ushered to meet the founder of the church, Pastor Professor Dr. Abraham Alex Tanisaputra. Not my, not my the choice. Not my, not my the choice. Not my, not my, not my the choice. In things both great and small. I would like to introduce this servant of God. Itu TB Joshua. TB Joshua. Jesus ada di dalamnya. Jesus is in him. Amen. Amen.
Greetings to you all. Salam bagi anda semua. With the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dengan kasih dari Tuhan kita Yesus Kristus. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Dan juga persekutuan dari Roh Kudus. I want us to give thanks to Jesus for the promise which says. Karena janji. In Matthew 16 verse 18. Dalam Matius 16 ayat yang ke-18, I will build my church. Aku akan membangun gerejaku. And the gates of hell. Dan pintu alam maut shall not prevail against it. Tidak akan berkuasa atas. Jesus for that. Berikan kemuliaan dan pujian syukur bagi Yesus. Give thanks to Him. Ucapkan syukur kepadanya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray for the church. Mari kita berdoa bagi gereja. Lift up your voice and Mari begin angkat to suara. ask Jesus. Angkat suara. Mulai ucapkan syukur bersyukur kepada Yesus. Berdoa. Mind of Christ. Mintalah pikiran Kristus. Forgive us spirit. Minta Roh Kudus. Total submission to His will. Supaya Dia sungguh-sungguh menjamak ketundukanmu pada ke kehendaknya understanding supaya kita dapat di sama pemahaman kita love and unity among brothers supaya ada kasih kesatuan di antara saudara-saudara in Jesus Christ name dalam nama Yesus haleluya haleluya amen amen you may be seated silakan duduk haleluya haleluya glory be to god almighty kemuliaan bagi Allah yang maha kuasa I would like to talk about how much we need God. Bagaimana besarnya kami membutuhkan Tuhan? Ask any Christian. Tanyakan kepada orang Kristen manapun. He will tell you. Dia pasti mengatakan kepada anda. That he needs God. Bahwa dia membutuhkan Tuhan. Suddenly. Tiba-tiba. We all need God. Kita semua membutuhkan Tuhan. But we don't know. Tetapi kita tidak tahu how much betapa besarnya we really need him. Kita sungguh-sungguh membutuhkan dia. For you to be here today. Bagi anda untuk hadir di tempat ini hari ini. You need God. Anda membutuhkan Tuhan. Bagi I need God to look at you. You need God to look at me. Anda membutuhkan Tuhan untuk memandang saya. I need God to jump. Saya membutuhkan Tuhan untuk dapat melompat. And I need God to dance. Saya membutuhkan Tuhan untuk bisa menari. I need God to laugh. <laughs> saya membutuhkan Tuhan untuk bisa tertawa. I need God to cough. <laughs> Dan saya juga membutuhkan Tuhan untuk bisa batuk. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, I need God. Katakan kepada orang di sebelahmu, aku but, membutuhkan Tuhan. But how much? Tetapi betapa besarnya kebutuhanku? I need Him. Betapa aku membutuhkan Dia? I don't know. Aku tidak tahu. I want to take you to the book of Philippians, four verse thirteen. Filipi empat ayat yang ke tiga belas. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Aku dapat melakukan segala sesuatu melalui Kristus yang menguatkan aku. He never said some, but all. Dia tidak pernah mengatakan sebagian, tapi semua segala sesuatu. According to Paul, menurut Paulus, in him, di dalam dia, we live. Kita itu hidup, we move. Kita bergerak, we have our being. Bahkan kita memiliki keberadaan kita ini. If you know how much you need God, kalau anda tahu betapa besarnya anda membutuhkan Tuhan. You will be in an attitude of prayer. Saudara itu akan selalu berada dalam sikap doa. If I know that I need God, seanya saya tahu bahwa saya itu membutuhkan Tuhan. To walk, untuk berjalan, to look, untuk melihat, to sleep, untuk tidur, to make up, untuk sisir. I will not have certain occasions for prayer. Pasti engkau tu tidak hanya berdoa sewaktu-waktu. If you know that you need God, kalau kau tahu bahwa kau membutuhkan Tuhan, to eat, untuk makan, to walk, untuk berjalan, to look, 
untuk melihat to make up. untuk bersolek you will not have certain occasions for prayer pasti engkau itu tidak hanya berdoa sewaktu-waktu i want to take you to the book of john 5 saya ingin mengajak saudara pindah ke yohanes pasal yang kelima verse 14 ayat yang ke-14 afterward jesus found him in the temple and said to him see you are made well see no more kemudian yesus bertemu dengan dia dalam bait Allah lalu berkata kepadanya engkau telah sembuh jangan berbuat dosa lagi see you are well again lihat kau sudah disembuhkan in other words jadi dengan kata lain see you are blessed again lihat engkau itu sekarang sudah diberkati lagi what does this mean apa itu artinya this means The man in question itu artinya orang yang sedang di dalam cerita ini still need Jesus after the healing. masih membutuhkan Yesus sesudah kesembuhannya. Tell your neighbor, I will still need Jesus. Katakan kepada orang sebelumnya, aku, after my blessing, aku masih membutuhkan Yesus. I will still need him. Aku masih membutuhkan dia. After my healing, setelah kesembuhanku, I will still need him. Aku masih membutuhkan dia. After my protection, setelah aku dilindungi, because of our limitation in the things of the spirit, karena kita itu begitu terbatas dalam perkara-perkara roh. We believe kita percaya that we only need Jesus bahwa kita itu hanya membutuhkan Yesus when we are in need of healing. Ketika kita butuh kesembuhan, we believe kita percaya we only need him. Kita hanya membutuhkan dia when we are in need of blessing. Kalau kita membutuhkan berkat, we believe kita percaya we only need him. Kita hanya membutuhkan when dia when we are in need of prosperity. Kalau kita hanya membutuhkan kemakmuran, far be it tell your neighbor Katakan kepada orang di sebelahmu, I need Jesus. Katakan kepada orang di sebelahmu, aku membutuhkan Yesus more lebih when I'm well. Ketika aku sembuh dan when I'm sick daripada ketika aku sakit. I need you more more than yesterday. I need you more. If we say we know how much we need Jesus. Kalau kita berkata, kita tahu betapa besarnya kita membutuhkan Yesus. How many of us here? Maka berapa dari kita have ever yang sudah come to the house of God? Berapa dari kita yang sudah datang di rumah Allah? And give a testimony dan memberikan kesaksian about our unanswered prayer tentang bagaimana Tuhan menjawab doa-doa kita. Come into the church and say, Pastor, I have testimony. Ada orang yang berkata, Pak Pendeta, aku mempunyai kesaksian. Okay, give your testimony. Ya, bersaksi. Praise the Lord. Puji Tuhan. I'm given a sack letter. Aku Thank di- you Jesus terima for kasih Tuhan. Engkau sudah memberikan surat ini. As a Christian, sebagai orang Kristen, the situation you are facing now, ini untuk menunjukkan apa yang saudara hadapi saat ini. Is a mere challenge to your God. In, sebetulnya apa yang saudara hadapi itu adalah tantangan yang kecil bagi Alamu. He will not allow you to be devoid. Dan Dia tidak akan membiarkan saudara itu untuk dikalahkan. Don't despair. Jangan putus asa. You are only being preserved. Saudara itu hanya dipersiapkan for your proper position and possession in Christ Jesus. Saudara itu sedang ditaruh didudukan pada kedudukan yang tepat dan pada 
milik yang saudara itu warisi di dalam Kristus. It may be to prepare you for the challenges ahead. Mungkin saja itu untuk mempersiapkan Anda untuk tantangan-tantangan yang ada di depanmu. It may be to keep you for a new level in life. Mungkin saja itu juga untuk menaikkan saudara kepada suatu tingkatan yang baru dalam hidup ini. It may be to reform you for a better position in God. Mungkin saja itu untuk mereformasi saudara supaya saudara berada pada kedudukan yang lebih baik di dalam Tuhan. It may be to preserve you for redemption. Mungkin saja itu untuk melindungi saudara. It may be to strengthen your desire for God. Mungkin itu mem- untuk memperbesar kerinduanmu kepada Tuhan. Let me take you to this Corinthians. Mari kita sekarang melihat 1 Korintus 1 Korintus pasal yang pertama verse 27. Kita melihat ayat yang ke-27. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty. Tetapi apa yang bodoh bagi dunia dipilih Allah untuk memalukan orang-orang yang berhikmat dan apa yang lemah bagi dunia dipilih Allah untuk memalukan apa yang kuat. God sometimes uses foolish things to reveal his purpose in our lives. Kadang-kadang Tuhan itu memakai perkara-perkara yang bodoh untuk menyatakan rencananya, maksudnya dalam kehidupan kita. Who knows what will have happened if your prayer for better conditions has been answered? Who knows what will have happened to you? Siapa yang tahu seandainya doa saudara untuk suatu kedudukan yang lebih baik itu dijawab oleh Tuhan, apa jadinya dengan kita? The thorn in the flesh of Paul three times he came to God, Lord, I'm having pain. Please, this time they say my grace is sufficient for you. Turi yang ada di dalam daging Rasul Paulus itu membuat dia datang kepada Tuhan dan bilang, Tuhan, cabut duri yang ada di dalam dagingku. Tetapi Tuhan berkata, kasih karuniaku cukup bagimu. Let me take you to the book of Daniel 6. Daniel pasal yang ke-6. Or you just look at verse 10 there. And when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went home and in his upper room with his wings open. Doing what? He went home to pray. Say thank you, Lord. Demi didengar Daniel bahwa surat perintah itu telah dibuat pergilah ia ke rumahnya. Dalam kamar atasnya ada tingkap-tingkap yang terbuka ke arah Yerusalem. Tiga kali sehari berlutut berdoa serta memuji alanya berkata, Terima kasih Tuhan, seperti yang biasa dilakukannya. When the decree was signed, Ketika keputusan raja itu ditandatangani, the Bible says, Alkitab berkata, He gave a prayer of Dia hanya berdoa dalam bahasa roh. Take note of that. He did not say, Lord, protect me. Lord, protect me. They want to kill me. They want to finish me. They want to do this. He only gave a prayer of thanks. He said, Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Waktu Daniel dalam bahaya seperti itu, dia tidak berkata, tolong Tuhan lindungi aku, mereka mau membunuh aku. Dia tidak mengatakan itu, dia hanya memberikan doa ucapan syukur. Dia berkata, terima kasih Tuhan, terima kasih Tuhan, terima kasih Tuhan. Daniel was happy, whereas there was nothing, nothing, nothing to be happy about. Daniel itu bergembira berbahagia, padahal tidak ada alasan untuk berbahagia. Tell your neighbor, you can be happy. Katakan kepada orang di sebelahmu, whereas, kau dapat berbahagia. Meskipun tidak ada alasan tell untuk berbahagia. Neighbor, neighbor. Katakan, katakan kepada orang di sebelah. Kau, neighbor, I can be happy. Aku bisa berbahagia. Whereas, meskipun there is nothing tidak ada alasan to be happy about. untuk berbahagia. I love to say how much I love you. I come to say I adore you, Lord, I'm not here to complain about my many problems, by your spirit and your grace, I'm confident that you solve them.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A happy response comes from a happy heart. Tanggapan yang penuh kebahagiaan itu datang dari hati yang gembira. Daniel was happy. Daniel tuh gembira. Whereas there was nothing, nothing to be happy about. Padahal tidak ada alasan untuk dia itu dapat bergembira. You two can be happy, whereas there is nothing and nothing and nothing to be happy about as a Christian. Itu berarti saudara itu dapat Dapat bergembira bersuka cita meskipun tidak ada apapun yang membuat saudara itu sebenarnya bisa bersuka cita. When everything around you suggests that there is no hope. Ketika segala sesuatu di sekitarmu itu mengatakan tidak ada harapan. When everything around you suggests that there is no future. Ketika semua di sekelilingmu berkata tidak ada masa depan. You can be happy. Saudara tetap bisa berbahagia. As a Christian. Sebagai orang Kristen. You don't have to worry. Tidak usah khawatir. And don't you be afraid. Jangan takut. Joy comes in the morning. Sukacita datang pagi. Troubles they don't last always. Remember there's a friend named Jesus. Hallelujah. He will wipe your tears away. Ingat Yesus sahabatmu akan menyertai. And if your heart is broken, come up your hands and say. Kalau hatimu remuk, just lift your hands and say. Angkat tangan dan berkata. Oh, I know that I can make it. Aku tahu aku pasti bisa menembusnya. I know that I can stand. No matter what, no matter what, make up my way. Apapun yang menghadapi aku. Dalam tangan Dengan Yesus aku dapat menanggung Dengan dia aku dapat menanggung Apapun yang ku hadapi Hidupku dalam tangan Haleluya Haleluya When Everything around you suggests. Ketika semua di sekitar anda itu berkata that all hope is lost. Bahwa harapan itu sudah sirna. You can still find occasions to rejoice in Christ Jesus. Saudara tetap dapat bersuka cita di dalam Kristus Yesus. When you look here, kalau saudara lihat di sini, economic oppression, saudara melihat ada tindasan, physical oppression, ada tekanan jasmani, political oppression, ada tindasan serta politik, social oppression, ada juga tekanan tindasan sosial, religious oppression, ada juga tekanan aniaya agama, demonic oppression. Semua tindasan itu when everything seems to suggest that all hope is lost. Karena semua sepertinya berkata tidak lagi ada harapan. As a Christian, sebagai orang Kristen, you can find occasions in Christ Jesus to rejoice. Saudara tetap dapat menemukan se Cita di dalam Tuhan kita senantiasa dapat bersuka cita. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Back to Daniel. Tetapi sekarang kembali ke Daniel. When the decree was published, ketika keputusan raja itu diumumkan, he only gave prayer of thanks. Dia hanya mempersembahkan mengucapkan doa-doa ucapan syukur. He did not come to God and ask for protection. Dia tidak datang kepada Tuhan, minta Tuhan melindungi dia. Blessing, berkat, healing, kesembuhan. Like many of us, banyak dari kita. 
it is time to rebuke. I rebuke in Jesus name. I ban in Jesus name. Kalau kebanyakan itu kenyakan semacam itu terjadi kepada kita kebanyakan kita kemudian mulai nengking ini nengking itu. Nengking ini nengking itu. Yes. Praise the Lord. Puji Tuhan. <laughs> Hallelujah. We should not restrict God. Kita tidak harusnya kita tidak membatasi Tuhan. To certain answers. Untuk mendapatkan jawaban-jawaban tertu. When we pray, kalau kita berdoa, we should give thanks. Dia kita harus mengucap syukur. Not just for what he has done. Bukan hanya untuk perkara-perkara yang sudah dilakukannya, but also, tetapi juga for what he is able to do. Untuk perkara-perkara yang dia mampu lakukan. He is able. Dia sanggup. More than able. Dia lebih dari sanggup. To accomplish what concerns me today. To mewujudkan apa yang butuhkan. More than able. Dia sanggup. Dia lebih dari sanggup. And he can handle. Dia sanggup menjadikan aku seperti kehendaknya. When we pray, kalau kita berdoa, we should not limit Jesus. Kita tidak boleh membatasi Yesus. To certain answers. Dengan menentukan jawapan apa yang harus dia berikan. Azum. Perkirakan. Dane asked for protection. Lord, protect me, protect him, protect him, protect him. Kita berkata. He will receive protection. What of his faith that later became national faith? Saudara, dia tidak berdoa lindungi aku, lindungi aku. His God became national God. Dia tidak menjadi Tuhan yang hanya terbatas pada perorangan saja, tetapi menjadi bangsa. When we pray, kalau kita berdoa, we should not limit God. Kita tidak boleh membatasi Allah. To certain answers. Dengan menentukan jawaban-jawaban apa yang kita harapkan. We should give Mari. thanks to Jesus. Kita harus mengucapkan syukur not just what he has done alone bukan hanya bersyukur untuk apa yang dia sudah lakukan but also for what he is able to do tetapi juga bersyukur untuk apa yang dia mampu lakukan for we may not know how much we need him karena kita itu tidak tahu betapa besarnya kebutuhan kita akan Allah for he is able to do More than what you can ever dream. Karena Allah itu sanggup melakukan jauh lebih besar dari apa yang saudara bisa bayangkan. It takes faith. Dibutuhkan iman. Let me take you to the book of Ruth. Mari kita membaca kitab Ibrani. Eleven. Sebelas. Verse six. Ayat yang ke enam. But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. Tetapi tanpa iman tidak mungkin orang berkenan kepada Allah. What does this mean? It takes faith to realize that we need God to do everything. Apa itu arti? Itu berarti kita membutuhkan iman untuk membuat Tuhan itu dapat melakukan segala sesuatu. Daniel knew. Daniel tahu. 
early enough in his life how much he needed God to do everything. Dini jauh-jauh hari sebelum kejadian itu Daniel sudah tahu betapa dia membutuhkan Tuhan untuk melakukan segala sesuatu. His consistency and faithfulness are a challenge to all Christians. Bagaimana kelanggengan kestabilan Daniel itu dan kesetiaannya itu merupakan tantangan bagi kita sebagai orang Kristen. Especially terutama those busy elites. Terutama orang-orang yang memiliki banyak kebutuhan of www.com generation yaitu saudara yang seperti alamat internet www.com generasi ini the secret of daniel strength rahasia kunci kekuatan daniel itu was his constancy in prayer adalah betapa daniel itu uh, konstan stabil dalam kehidupan doanya in prayer that Dia, is where his secret kestabilan doanya itu yang merupakan rahasia kekuatan Daniel. What do I mean? Apa artinya? When the goings were good, Jesus is the Lord. Ketika semuanya baik, Yesus itu Tuhan. When the goings were tough, Jesus is the Lord. Ketika semuanya itu sulit dan sukar, Yesus tetap Tuhan. Daniel knew that his enemies to tahu bahwa musuh-musuhnya lost no time in plotting against him tidak membuang-buang waktu untuk membuat dia sangat jahat terhadap dirinya and daniel too lost no time in committing himself his way to god through prayer tetapi daniel juga secara pribadi tidak membuang-buang waktu untuk menyerahkan dirinya menyetak menyerahkan jalan-jalannya kepada tuhan di dalam doa tell your neighbor Katakan kepada orang di sebelahmu. My enemy, musuh-musuhku, loses no time, tidak membuang-buang waktu, in plotting against me, untuk membuat siasat jahat terhadapku. I too, aku juga, will lose no time, tidak membuang-buang waktu, in committing my way, untuk menyerahkan kehendakku, God, jalanku kepada Tuhan. Through prayer, lewat doa. That is what I meant by Constancy in prayer. Itu yang sama maksudkan kestabilan doa. If you know that you need God, kalau anda tahu bahwa anda membutuhkan Tuhan, to do everything, untuk melakukan apa saja, to button my dress, bahkan untuk mengancingkan bajuku, to comb my hair, untuk bisa sisir rambutku. I will not have certain occasions for prayer. Pasti engkau itu tidak hanya berdoa sewaktu-waktu. I will be in an attitude. Tetapi saya akan senantiasa berada of prayer. Dalam sikap doa. Some of us are here today to know Jesus and why we have many that also they are friends. Um banyak yang datang di sini untuk mengenal Yesus. Ada juga yang datang ke sini karena temannya, di bawah temannya. I want to tell you that trusting in Christ Jesus. Percaya kepada Kristus Yesus. Believing in Christ Jesus. Percaya kepada Kristus Yesus. It's not a mere intellectual acknowledgement. Itu bukan hanya semata-mata pengakuan yang kita buat dengan intelek atau pikiran kita. But tetapi adherence to tetapi juga commitment to itu adalah suatu komitmen itu adalah percaya iman pada total dependence upon him ketergantungan penyerahan sepenuhnya kepada Tuhan dalam segala sesuatu In that John 7 verse 12 Di dalam Yohanes 7:12 itu It is clear jelas sekali that the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ bahwa hadir kehadiran dari Tuhan kita Yesus Kristus brought about controversy and argument menimbulkan 
pertikaian dan perbantahan. Song Wu Se. Ada orang yang berkata. He is a good man. Dia itu orang yang baik. Why others? Kenapa? He deceive the people. Ada yang bilang mereka dia menipu umat. Because they did not understand him. Karena mereka tidak kenal, mereka tidak mengerti dia. Naturally. Tentu saja. What people do not understand. Apa yang tidak dipahami oleh umat itu. They call names. Mereka pasti memberikan julukan aneh-aneh. What people understand. Tapi apa yang dipahami? They destroy. Mereka mereka yang tidak paham itu pasti dihancurkan. This is one of the ways of identifying a child of God. There will be division among people. Ini adalah salah satu cara kita mengenal anak-anak Tuhan akan terjadi perpecahan, perpisahan di antara orang-orang itu. Division, consigning. Suatu perpecahan mengenai his character, karakternya, nation. Kebangsaannya. I mean disposition. Maksud saya adalah kedudukannya. Is origin. Asal usulnya. Some will say. Ada orang yang akan berkata. Is a godly man. Dia Why itu orang yang saleh. Will say he deceives the people. Orang lain bilang ah tidak dia menipu umat. This was the situation that brought Nicodemus. To see Jesus. Ini yang kemudian membuat Nicodemus itu menemui Yesus. Being a man of principle, uh, dia adalah orang yang mempunyai prinsip. He decided to come. Dia memutuskan untuk datang. Instead of sitting somewhere and hear this and that, daripada duduk di sana mendengarkan gosip yang tidak keruan, he decided to come. Dia ingin rindu datang. And I say thank you for your coming here today once again. Karena itu saya katakan terima kasih untuk kedatangan anda hari ini sekali lagi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not the healer. I'm just a human being like you. Saya bukan tabibnya, bukan penyembuhnya. Saya ini orang manusia biasa seperti anda. If there is any difference between me and you, it is just the grace of God. Kalau ada perbedaan antara anda dan saya, itu semata-mata anugerah Allah. It is not the work of righteousness which I have done. Kalau ada perbedaan, it is a free gift of God. Kalau ada Thank perbedaan you, antara saya dan anda, itu semata-mata kasih karunia, bukan karena saya berjalan di dalam kebenaran, karena itu adalah pemberian cuma-cuma yang merdeka dari Allah. Terima kasih Tuhan. Because Amen. I'm just here as a servant, remember our lives are in God's hand. Uh, ada yang datang hanya untuk menyaksikan, tapi saya mau katakan, saya di sini berada di sini hanya sebagai hamba. Saya tidak menguasai diri saya sendiri, saya dikuasai oleh Dia. Dan ingat, semuanya ada di dalam tangannya. But I want to tell you something. Tapi saya mau katakan sesuatu kepada anda. You always see miracles happen in your presence today. Saudara itu selalu melihat mujizat-mujizat terjadi di hadapanmu. Do you know what you mean by miracle? Saudara tahu apa yang membuat itu terjadi? If your prayer brings an answer, that answer is miracle. Kalau doamu itu membuahkan jawapan, jawapan itu mujizat. If there were no miracles, kalau tidak ada mujizat, there will be no reason for faith. Maka tidak ada alasan untuk iman. God cannot answer your prayer without miracle. Tuhan tidak dapat menjawab doamu tanpa mujizat. I want to tell you. Saya mau katakan kepada anda. The miracle worker is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Pembuat mujizat itu sama dulu, sekarang, dan selamanya. His name is Jesus Christ. Namanya Yesus Kristus. One thing you must know. Satu hal saudara harus tahu. 
Knowing God mengenal Tuhan is not only to see his miracles tidak hanya menyaksikan mujizat-mujizatnya but also to learn his way tetapi juga belajar kehendaknya tell your neighbor knowing God Menal Tuhan itu is not only to see his miracle, bukan hanya melihat mujizatnya but tetapi also juga to learn his way belajar kehendaknya So thank you I want you to join me in prayer thank you thank you very much Karena itu terima kasih Saudara mau bersama-sama saya berdoa terima kasih untuk kedatangan Anda terima kasih Tuhan As the Let it fall, the waters of my soul, long after thee, you alone are my heart's desire, and I long to Thousands came to Graha Bethany Church for a service with God's anointed servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua. They came ready to trust in, believe in, and depend totally upon God for their healing, salvation, and deliverance. When you acknowledge Jesus Christ as the healer, the deliverer, and the savior, he will do it again and again and again. We have no reason to doubt his sufficiency. Jesus Christ is the deliverer and his power to deliver is unlimited. The age of miracles has not yet passed. The evidence of God's miracle is our rising and walking. You always see miracles happen in your presence today. Saudara itu selalu melihat mujizat-mujizat terjadi di hadapanmu. Do you know what you mean by miracle? Saudara tahu apa yang membuat itu terjadi If your prayer brings an answer that answer is miracle Kalau doamu itu membuahkan jawaban jawaban itu mukjizat Seeing what God says will produce and increase your faith for miracles with the proof that the scriptures were true then and they still are There was one proof then and there is one proof now miracles In his name. If there were no miracles, kalau tidak ada mujizat, there would be no reason for faith. Maka tidak ada alasan untuk iman. The name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is important to Jesus Christ is the ability to register one's willingness to receive of him. It is not just all up to God and certainly it is not just all up to you. But as prophet TB Joshua says, God requires our faith to reveal his mighty power. To heal, to save, to deliver. God cannot answer your prayer without miracle. Tuhan tidak dapat menjawab doamu tanpa mujizat. I want to tell you. Saya mau katakan kepada anda. The miracle worker is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Pembuat mujizat itu sama dulu, sekarang, dan selamanya. His name is Jesus Christ. Namanya Yesus Kristus.
Jesus Christ. Prophet TB Joshua is attending to the sick who came in wheelchairs. <laughs> And as the power of God is present, that healing happens. The wheelchair he once depended on has now been rendered useless by the mighty power of Jesus Christ. We are here at the Indonesian Crusade with Prophet TB Joshua at the Bethany Church in Surabaya. Can you please tell us your name, your age, and the country you're from? Bapak bisa minta namanya, usianya, dan asalnya Bapak dari mana? Tiga umur tujuh puluh enam. Ya. Tiga puluh enam tujuh. Ya. Sudimin Yakub. Ya. Dari Petemon, eh, dari Surabaya. His name is Sutimin Yakub, and he's 67 years old, and he comes from Surabaya. What's the problem that brought you here today? Kami tadi melihat bapak menaik kursi roda. Apa yang menyebabkan bapak kursi roda tadi? Stroke. Yeah, man, stroke. Because of the stroke. You mean you had a stroke which caused you to be in a wheelchair? Jadi maksud bapak, bapak kena stroke sampai harus naik kursi roda? Yeah. Yes, that, that's right. We saw you being prayed for by Prophet TB Joshua. Can you explain what did you experience at that time? Kami tadi lihat bapak didoakan oleh TB Joshua. Apa yang bapak rasakan? Bapak rasa senang dan bisa sembuh. Merasa sehat. I feel so happy because I can be healed and feel healthy and now that you've been healed what is your promise to God dan sekarang Bapak sudah sembuh apa yang Bapak ingin katakan janjikan kepada Tuhan mengucap Tuhan sangat baik mengucap bahagia bahwa Tuhan itu sangat baik sangat pertolongannya akan mengucap syukur kepada Tuhan I would like to give thanks to the Lord because he healed me already I just give thanks to the Lord Amen. We pray that God will give you the grace to stay close to Him and far from sin in Jesus' name. What's your name? Tina. You believe God, and you live for Jesus. Apakah kamu hidup bagi Yesus? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Angkat hati kita percaya. Tiada yang Tina is clearly not with herself as she falls under the influence of the Holy Spirit. For when the Holy Spirit acts, changes are beginning. Prophet B. Joshua helps her faith, lifting her to her feet. And she begins to walk as what was once weak in her life has now been made strong. Here comes Tina. God's promise has been fulfilled and here she is walking with ease as if there had never been anything wrong. Glory be to God. Nama saya Tina, umur saya 36 tahun, saya berasal dari Surabaya, Indonesia. Her name is Tina. Uh, she is 36 years old and she came from Surabaya. Uh, saya tidak bisa bekerja. Uh, 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 lambung saya uh, sakit, saya tidak bisa makan. 
saya muntah sehingga saya lemah. Uh, saya ke dokter, keluar masuk rumah sakit tapi no, 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 tidak ada hasil. She came out uh, one, uh, one hospital to another but no, yes, no solution. Tolong jelaskan bagaimana Tuhan mengubah hidup, uh, hidup Anda malam ini, bagaimana Tuhan menyembuhkan Anda malam ini. Uh, waktu tu, waktu uh, Bapak T.B. Joshua berdoa, rasa Tuhan menjamah. Uh, saya punya kekuatan, lambung saya yang tadinya sakit sekali waktu saya anu, ah, hilang sampai sekarang. Saya tadi bawain bubur sama anu, sampai bubur tidak perlu saya makan, padahal dua jam sekali saya harus makan bubur. Uh, nama saya Agus Permana, umur saya 37 tahun, sura, asal Surabaya, Indonesia. Uh, dia menderita sakit ini sehingga dia dia lemah gitu, dia tidak tidak bisa jalan awalnya. Saya saya yakin karena uh, kuasa Tuhan Yesus uh, melewati TB Joshua sehingga istri saya disembuhkan hari ini. Uh, because uh, through through TB Joshua, God heal her. Apa janji anda untuk Tuhan? Buat Tuhan. Saya akan melayani Tuhan. Jesus <laughs> An old lady who came with a body brace is right now experiencing a moment of regeneration and renewal. <laughs> As the woman walks forward to testify, it is clear that what she is now, after the prayer of the man of God, is a product of the conviction that healing obtained in Christ Jesus is healing indeed. We're here at the Indonesian Crusade with Prophet T.B. Joshua in Graha Bethany Church in Surabaya, Indonesia. Madam, please tell us your name, your age, and where you're from. Nama saya Nyonya Ripka. Umur saya 69 dari Surabaya. Hi, my name is Nyonya. Mrs. Ripka and my age is 69 years old and I come from Surabaya, Indonesia. Thank you. And what is the problem that brought you to the Indonesian Crusade with Prophet T.B. Joshua? Masalah apa yang membawa Nyonya datang ke tempat ini pada malam hari ini? Masalah masalah saya sakit nafas ini tidak kuat, sering pusing dan tulang tulang belakang tulang ekor ini geser pinggang ini rasa lemas kalau jalan harus pakai korset pakai tongkat I'm actually having a problem of breathing because there is a problem with my chest and then I have a problem with my backburn it has a slight movement into the left side so that's why I need to use this kind of stuff to protect me in order to walk properly. And for how long have you been suffering from your back problem? Berapa lama Nyonya sudah mengalami masalah penyakit ini? Yang yang ada gangguan jantung mulai dari muda. Okay. Tapi yang tulang geser ini baru mulai bulan Desember. The problem with my backburn uh, just happened in the, the month of this last December. And how does this back problem affect your life? Dan apa yang membuat dampak apa yang terjadi dari sakit tulang belakang ini secara negatif? Ya tidak bisa gerak. Kalau kalau anu sama dokter 
tidak boleh jongkok ya di, kalau bergerak sakit ya dokter bisa bilang di, hanya bisa dibantu pakai korset bisa dibantu pakai korset tapi dokter tidak bisa menyembuhkan sudah So the doctor said that I can just walk with this this thing here, but the doctor said that he cannot heal her. So the doctors have not been able to cure you of the problem that you're having. Therefore, you're, you're forced to wear a waist brace as well as use a cane. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, that's correct. Tell us what happened when Prophet T.B. Joshua prayed for you tonight. Tolong katakan apa yang terjadi kepada Tante waktu Prophet Nabi Tibi Joshua mendoakan Tante. Saya apa rasakan kasih Tuhan begitu besar buat saya. Jadi saya merasa sangat berterima kasih kepada Tuhan Yesus. She just feel that the love of God has just overwhelmed her. Iya, cuma merasa ada kekuatan dari Tuhan gitu. Merasa kuat gitu rasanya. There is a new strength within her body to walk again. Berjalan. Okay. Terus saya bisa bisa berjalan. Biasa yes. Jalan bungkuk bungkuk. Oh okay. And the prophet took her up to walk, and then usually she couldn't walk straight. She usually walk like with hunchback, but now she can walk straight. Saya rasakan sangat berterima kasih kepada Tuhan Yesus yang sudah menyembuhkan saya. I'm feeling grateful to the Lord Jesus who has healed me completely. Thank you. Saya janji sama Tuhan mempermuliakan nama Tuhan. Saya bisa menjadi menjadi saksi Tuhan. Saya bisa menyaksikan cinta Tuhan. Sir, I promise to God that I will use my life as a testimony for others so that others may see the glory of God reveals upon each and every one of our life. As we know, when the Son of God sets you free, you are free indeed. Madam, can you please show us now what you could not do before the prayer of Prophet T.B. Joshua here at the Indonesian Crusade? Jadi kita bersyukur dan setelah Tuhan membebaskan Tante, semua benar-benar bebas. Dan bisa tolong Tante sekarang tunjukkan apa yang enggak bisa Tante lakukan dulu waktu sakit. Tolong tunjukkan kepada kami, pemirsa. Hallelujah, you can see, not only she's walking, but she's bending, she's touching her toes, all for the glory of God. Madam, are you feeling any pain as you do this? In your, are you feeling any pain in your back as you do this? Apakah Tante merasakan sakit di punggung waktu melakukan ini? No pain at all. This lady is using a double leg brace as a support. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Shalom nama Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus Christ. As the prophet orders the leg braces to be removed, we are confident that the mighty hand that is healing her will soon be manifested in her rising and walking. She is beckoned to rise up and receive her miracle. When the Lord sees us through a battle, it is in our best interest to say thank you, Jesus Christ. Nama saya Indriati Juwari. Umur saya 63 tahun. Saya asal dari Indonesia. Ya, karena ini apa? Eh, 
osteoartritis terus itu uh, pakai penyanggang sikat osteoartritis uh, so she, uh, she have to wear knee brace gimana ya kalau mau jalan enggak bisa she cannot walk and she cannot do anything yaitu sama dokter mesti harusnya dioperasi tetapi so uh, she got to the doctor and the doctor said she have to get an operation and to wear this ya sudah disembuhkan sama Tuhan Joshua dan Tuhan Yesus through TB Joshua uh, God heals her sekarang coba demonstrasikan apa yang enggak bisa dilakukan sebelumnya yeah. Biasanya saya tidak bisa gini, ini tidak bisa ngangkat kakinya. Gini sekarang sudah bisa. Oke. Okay. Sekarang bisa. Oke. Okay, no, okay. no, she can do anything. Ada sakit lagi? Tidak ada. Sudah. No. No more. No more. She been healed. <laughs> Oke, okay, karena Tuhan sudah menyembuhkan. Apa janji janji Anda buat? Ya, saya mengikuti Tuhan terus percaya sama Tuhan Yesus. She will believe God and follow Him. Prophet TB Joshua takes God at His word and receives the same result the early apostles saw. The name of Jesus Christ. Miracles in Jesus' name. For miracles are wrought, not by repeating the name of Jesus as a good luck charm, but by believing it as a revelation of grace and goodwill to mankind. namanya Indonesia Dewi Mariati asalnya dari Madiun Madiun tapi sekarang tinggal di Surabaya Her name is Yuniarti she's from Madiun and she's 75 years old Apa masalahnya yang membawa ibu ke tempat ini hari ini Kesulitan jalan gitu toh nih ya nah, terus pakai kursi roda I had difficulty to walk that's why I had to use the wheelchair Saya didoakan oleh Bibi Josa saya sudah sembuh Ya. Yeah. Because TV Joshua has prayed for me and I was healed. Sekarang Tuhan sudah sembuhkan ibu. Apa janji ibu pada Tuhan? Saya selamanya mau ikut Tuhan. Sampai selamanya. I will follow the Lord forever. state of her mind, giving thanks to God for the amazing grace she now enjoys, a grace many are still deprived of. Umur saya, nama saya Christine, umur saya 35 tahun, asalnya Krian Jidoarjo. 
Her name is Christine. She is uh, 35 years old and she came from Krian Sidoarjo. Dengan imnya dia, dia ingin sembuh karena ada berita kalau ada penyembuhan di Betani khususnya uh, psikologis lumbarnya menggeser. Jadi masalahnya karena psikologis uh, kegiatan sehari-harinya berkurang. Berja harus pakai penyangga ini. Lah anjuran dokter harus kalau kalau enggak pakai penyangga ini disuruh pakai operasi. Kalau enggak pakai penyangga ini uh, tubuhnya terasa nyeri. Jadi kalau berjalan sama duduk tidak kuat. Lagi pula aktivitas sehari-hari untuk daya ingatnya kurang. Puji Tuhan karena Tuhan telah menyembuhkan orang tua saya melalui TB Yosua. Nama Yosua Umur 69. Sis, uh, her name is Susiana and her age is 69 years old. Jadi sebelum datang ke sini apa yang tidak bisa dilakukan? Apa mak? Nyeri. Kurang. Nyeri. Kurang makan, tidak bisa jalan. Kurang makan, tidak bisa jalan. Yeah. She cannot walk. Di Tuhan, ya yeah. sekarang bisa jalan kan? Apa yang apa yang tadi melalui TB Joshua Tuhan lakukan apa? Saya kuat, tidak ada tidak ada penyakit. Sehat, puji Tuhan. Because of God, uh, through TB Joshua, she can uh, she can walk and she be uh, she been healed. Terima kasih sudah sembuh Tuhan. Memuji Tuhan. She want to praise God all the time. This woman is just a moment away from her miracle. And as Prophet T.B. Joshua prays for her and commands the brace to be removed, she is taken from where she was to where God wants her to be, abundant life. case is evidence that the age of miracles has not yet passed. The miracle worker is still alive. His name is Jesus Christ and he's ready to do the same in your life today. You're welcome in Jesus' name. Can you please tell us your name, your age, and where you come from, please? Nama saya Elizabeth. Umurnya 66 tahun. Dari Indonesia. Dari Indonesia. Her name is Elizabeth, and she is 66 years old, and she's from Indonesia. Hari ini saya ke sini naik kursi roda dan korset. Karena tulang punggung saya di belakang sebelah kiri itu. Today she came here on her wheelchair and also she used this body brace because of the spine problem. Ya pokok kemana-mana jalan tidak kuat. 
Yeah, everything is very difficult for her to do because she could not walk. And how long has she been suffering from this problem for? Dan sudah berapa lama ibu mengalami permasalahan ini? Ya, sudah hampir satu tahunan. Tadi Baby Yosua datang mendoakan saya, lalu suruh saya lepaskan korset dan berdiri tanpa kursi roda. Anu tahu tahu, jalannya lancar ya. When the prophet prayed for me, he asked me to stand up and to take off my body brace, and now I can walk without all these things. Now that Jesus has healed you, what is your promise to God? Ibu kami berterima kasih pada Tuhan atas kesembuhan yang Tuhan berikan buat ibu. Dan sekarang setelah ibu disembuhkan oleh Tuhan, apa yang menjadi janji ibu bagi Tuhan? Ya, terus ikut Tuhan. She promises the Lord that she will follow the Lord forever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We thank God for your healing. Mama, we would like you to demonstrate for us how you can walk without the use of this body brace and the use of this wheelchair. Jesus Christ. I just fell down and my face is in pain now. The name of Jesus Christ. Nama saya Budi Ekawati dari Gresik. Umurnya 65. Rumahnya Jalan Harun Tohir, nomor masalahnya saya, saya habis jatuh. Jadi sininya sakit rentak. Oke, okay, so she fell, she fell and then she got uh, crack bone. Ya, kalau duduk lama-lama ndak -lama kuat. Yeah. She cannot uh, sit long. Ini sapu. Uh, the doctor asked her to wear uh, body press. Yeah. Yusua sudah enak sembuh. Okay, truth say Yusua, she felt uh, God heal her. Jadi setelah disembuhkan, apa yang mau dilakukan? Ya, ini nanti saya buang. <laughs> With just a touch, Jesus Christ takes her out of her problem and into solution. And with just a touch, Jesus Christ can take you out of your problem and into solution. And you will not go back. But when you are touched, you are touched to follow him.
We are here at the Indonesian Crusade with Prophet TB Joshua at the Bethany Church in Surabaya, in Jesus' name. Can you please tell us your name, your age, and the country you're from? Selamat malam. Malam hari ini kita di acara kebaktian malam bersama dengan Nabi TB Joshua. Bisa tolong sebutkan nama, umur, dan dari mana? Saya, nama saya Yuni Arti. Umur 69. Alamat rumah Yosudarso, Mojokerto. What is the problem that brought you here today? Masalah apa yang membawa Om datang ke sini pada malam hari ini? Kaki saya ini kalau berjalan sakit. Karena saya punya menderita sakit diabetes. Kalau berjalan lutut ini sakit. Tapi saya telah jama sama Pak siapa tadi Bapak Pendeta. Puji Tuhan saya sekarang sudah enak kalau berjalan jauh sudah tidak sakit. So you mean that due to diabetes, you were having a problem with your knees, which did this problem make you use the wheelchair that we're seeing next to you? Jadi maksudnya waktu karena diabetes itu menyebabkan lututnya sakit, makanya harus pakai roda. Apakah itu benar? Ya benar. Yes, that's correct. How long have you been having this problem for? Selama berapa lama udah menjalani ini? Kurasa satu tahunan. Sakitnya? Sakitnya ya sudah agak satu tahun lebih lah. Saya rasakan setelah didoakan, saya berjalan itu sudah ringan, sudah tak sakit lagi. Dan bisa berjalan juga. Sudah jalan. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ has done it again. Now that you have been completely healed in the name of Jesus Christ, what is your promise to God? Hallelujah, Tuhan Yesus sudah nyembuh. Bukan tante. Jadi sekarang karena sudah disembuhkan, apa janji yang tante bikin buat Tuhan? Ya, saya mau setia pada Tuhan dan saya mengucap syukur pada Tuhan karena kebaikannya. Okay. Tuhan. Well, because He has healed me, I want to be more and more faithful to Him, and I want to show His kindness to anybody. Thank you. Can you demonstrate that you are now healed? You are now free. Bisa tolong didemonstrasikan jalannya dan kakinya bisa ditekuk-tekuk gitu. How are you feeling now? Are you feeling any pain? Apakah anda merasa baik? Gak ada sakit? Sudah baik, tak sakit. I'm feeling very good. Jesus Christ. Should be careful of our pressure. The pressure cannot solve the problem. She has problem of womb. Dan ada masalah juga di dalam rahimnya. Hati-hati dengan tekanan yang ada pada dirimu. Tell us your name, your age, and where you come from, please. Nama saya Mimi, umur 36 tahun. Dari Indonesia. Nabi TB Joshua mengatakan bahwa perut saya, maaf rahim saya, ada tekanan di rahim saya. Should be careful of our pressure. The pressure cannot solve the problem. She has problem of womb. Ya betul. Saya berterima kasih sekali ya dengan adanya. Tapi Nabi Tapi Joshua tadi bernubuat, jadi saya betul tahu bahwa beberapa hari yang lalu saya pernah sakit di perut saya, sakit sekali, lebih sakit seperti melahirkan. Saya pikir itu usus saya, tapi mungkin setelah saya dengar dari Tapi Joshua, saya yakin mungkin itu rahim saya yang yang ada tekanan sehingga mengakibatkan begitu sakit sekali. Saya saya merasa merasa Bersyukur saya sudah tahu penyakit saya. Saya berjanji saya akan melayani Tuhan lebih lagi. She thanked the Lord so because of the prophet Tibi Joshua's prophecy. Now we 
knows the thickness of her womb. And after this, she promises the Lord that she will love the Lord and serve the Lord. Okay. Amen. We pray with you that God will give you the grace to love nothing in comparison of him, but in references to him alone. The spirit of reptile is in you. Reptil. Tahu reptil ya? Come here. Nah, silakan. The name of Jesus Christ. He is overwhelmed by the uncommon grace and favor God has shown to him in delivering him from this problem. Hello and welcome to the Sunday service here at the Bethany Church with Prophet TB Joshua and Sarah Baya in Jesus' name. Please tell us your name, your age and the country you're from. Nama saya Alexander Sugeng Suryono, alamat uh, umur saya 41 tahun, asal saya dari Surabaya. Memang benar apa itu, karena kalau TB Joshua adalah, adalah roh reptil yang ada dalam diri saya. As the prophet said, true, um, there is some reptile spirit inside of my soul. The spirit of reptile is in you. Reptil, tahu reptil ya? Memang betul ada dalam roh dalam diri saya itu. Yes, that is true. And now that Jesus Christ has revealed the root cause of your problem through this word of prophecy and has delivered you in the power of the Holy Spirit, what is your promise to Jesus Christ? Amin. Sekarang Bapak sudah dipersembuhkan dan diberikan kuasa yang lebih oleh kuasa Tuhan Yesus Kristus Tuhan. Apa yang Bapak, uh, janji apa yang Bapak ingin ucapkan kepada Tuhan selama mendapatkan penyembuhan ini? Saya selalu akan selalu dengan Tuhan dan saya selalu mohon ampun kepada Tuhan. I will make a more relationship my life with God. the spirit of death. Taste it in the name of Jesus Christ. Out! 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 Welcome to Graha Bethany Church, Surabaya in Indonesia, in Jesus' name. We're here with Prophet TB Joshua. Please, can you tell us your name, your age, and where you come from? My name is Martini, number 39, in the Indonesia. So, as I said, Mary Jensen is true, that in my life, I have a life of death, and I have a life of death. I have a life of death, and I have a life of death. She has the spirit of death. Yes, that's right. And now God Almighty has uh, exposed the root cause of the problem in her life, delivered her and set her free. What is her promise to God? Dan sebagaimana Tuhan telah menyebut, sudah tel, mengatakan semuanya dan telah membebaskan ibu dari semuanya ini, apa yang menjadi janji ibu pada Tuhan setelah ini? Saya mau lebih mendalam lagi dan melayani Tuhan dengan Tuhan untuk menubuatkan dan pelepasannya Thank you Jesus for the prophecy and deliverance The name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Out! Out! <laughs> she, 
she had contrary spirits. Dan uh, ya, roh yang hancur. You're welcome to Pub Bethany Church, Surabaya in Indonesia. We are here with Prophet TB Joshua. Can you please tell us your name, your age and where you come from, please? Nama saya Ang Pauling, umur 43 tahun dari Surabaya. Ini. Bapak Pendeta Joshua bilang bahwa saya mau mempunyai roh kebencian kepada suami saya. The Prophet TB Joshua said that she had a contrary spirit in her life. Okay. She had contrary spirits. Dan, uh, ya, roh yang hancur. Benar. Yes, that's right. Yang, yang mengakibatkan bahwa saya ak akhirnya membenci Dan suami ada saya. Now that uh, Pratibi Joshua has been used by God to reveal uh, the cause and the problem in her life and has set her free, how does she feel now? Dan sebagaimana Nabi Tibi Joshua telah mengungkapkan semuanya dan membeberkan akar permasalahan dalam hidup rumah tangga Anda, bagaimana perasaan Anda saat ini? Saya merasa lebih bahagia, nggak rasa apa, jengkel di dalam hati saya. She feels happier and she feels free. Amen. We thank God for your life. Um, now that God Almighty has delivered you and set you free um, from this contrary spirit, what is your promise to God? Dan sebagaimana Nabi Tibi Joshua telah membeberkan semuanya dan telah membebaskan anda dari semua roh-roh itu, apa yang menjadi janji tu, janji anda pada Tuhan selain? Saya berjanji sama Tuhan akan apa melayaninya lebih giat lagi. She promises the Lord that she will serve the Lord more and more. Amen. We pray with you that God Almighty will give you the grace to go and sin no more in Jesus' name. The people they wish here, they should lay their hand anywhere they have the pain, the spinal cord. Semua orang yang waist. duduk di kursi roda, letakkan tangan anda, bisa bangkit, berdiri dan berjalan. Get ready to receive. Bersiap-siaplah untuk menerima mujizatmu. And those who have contrary spirit in our midst, itu juga berlaku bagi anda yang dirasuk roh jahat. You should be ready to be delivered. Saudara siap untuk dilepaskan. I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I'm ready. Katakan kepada Tuhan, Tuhan aku siap. Speak out, Mari. Lord, I'm Tuhan. ready. Ucapkan, Tuhan, aku siap. I come in faith with humility. Tuhan aku datang dengan iman dalam segala kerendahan hati. His promise is I will heal you today. Karena janjinya adalah aku akan menyembuhkanmu hari ini. His promise is I will save you today. Allah, uh, janji Allah adalah aku akan melakukannya hari ini. His promise is I will comfort you today. Janjinya hari ini adalah aku akan menghiburkanmu. Right now I stretch my hand in the name of Jesus. Those who are the wish here begin to receive in the name of Jesus. Sekarang mulailah menerima di dalam nama Yesus Kristus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Mulai menerima di dalam nama Yesus Kristus. Begin to receive in the name of Jesus. Mulai menerima di dalam nama Yesus Kristus. Begin to receive in the name of Jesus. Mulai menerima dalam nama Yesus Kristus. Anywhere there's problem, sickness, disease in your system, Dan right now begin to receive healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Right? No, dimanapun juga saudara sak ada penyakit. Dimanapun juga Christ. sekarang terimalah kesembuhan di dalam nama Yesus. Di dalam nama Yesus. Dimanapun juga saudara rasa sakit, taruh tangan saudara Jesus dan sudah dalam nama Yesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Sembuh di nama Yesus. Yang merasa sakit, dimanapun juga sakit penyakit saudara. Lord Jesus. Katakan Tuhan Yesus. Lord Jesus. Tuhan Yesus. Son of David. Anak Daud. Have mercy on me. Kasihanilah aku. Son of David. Anak Daud. Have mercy on me. Kasihanilah aku. Prayer. Son of David. Anak Daud. Have mercy on me. Kasihanilah aku. Son of David. Anak Daud. Have mercy on me. Kasihanilah aku. Rasa sakit taruh tangan dan sembuh dalam nama Yesus. Sembuh dalam nama Yesus. Sembuh dalam nama Yesus. Sembuh dalam nama Yesus. Be in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Son of David, Anak Daud, have mercy on me. Son of David, Anak Daud, have mercy on me. Be healed in the name of Jesus. 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 Let's listen to one of the many out of their wheelchairs during the mass prayer with Prophet TB Joshua. Nama saya Agustina, saya berasal dari Indonesia, saya berumur 29 tahun. Dan saat ini wanita siapa yang duduk di depan Anda? Uh, mama saya, uh, mama saya tidak bisa jalan karena ke, uh, sakit di apa syarafnya yang memperlemah dia. Uh, karena dia tidak bisa berjalan jadi harus bergantung kepada kursi roda ini uh, Mama saya merasa sakit di seluruh tubuh Ibu bisa katakan mama usia Mama usia kemudian asal dari mana? Nama saya Linda Wati Umur saya 56 Masalah sarap tulang belakang dan virus Mulai sakit bawah dada sampai telapak kaki Punggung sampai telapak kaki sakit semua rasa kaku panas narik-narik selama tujuh tahun tidak bisa buang air besar sekarang kita ada ada kursi roda di sebelah ibu dan bisa katakan siapa yang pakai itu sebelumnya dan kenapa ibu pakai itu nah, ini yang pakai ya saya sendiri kalau pergi diajak anak-anak pergi mall bawa kursi roda soalnya tidak kuat kakinya yang parahnya empat tahun ini sakitnya tambah parah setiap hari sakit terus kami percaya pasti akan sembuh kami akan percaya kami pasti bisa berjalan kembali ya saya rasanya kekuatan lift up your voice lift up your voice Angkat suara saudara. Lord Jesus. Tuhan Yesus. To deliver you. Tuhan Yesus. Ask him to deliver you. Minta dia. In the name Minta of dia Jesus, untuk Lord. menyembuhkan saudara di dalam nama Yesus. Ask him to deliver you. Minta. Prayer. Open your lips. Buka mulut saudara. In the name of Jesus Christ. Di dalam nama Yesus Kristus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dalam nama Yesus Kristus. Open your lips. Buka mulut saudara. Deliver you. Minta Yesus melepaskan saudara. Come into my life. Datanglah ke dalam hidupku. Lord Jesus. Tuhan Yesus. And put an end to my past. During the time of prayer, Prophet T.B. Joshua begins to pray for the people individually. As he prays for this woman, she falls to the ground under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Look how vicious and aggressive this lady becomes during the prayer of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Right name of Jesus Christ. As the prophet continues to pray for the woman, this man also falls under the power of the Holy Spirit. In the right name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. at how the two even try to attack each other. It's a python. Pythons. The man of God prophesied that this man has the spirit of a python. 
reminds us of what the Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Jesus Christ. Out. Out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Look at that. The lady has torn the prophet's shirt. Satan is powerless in the face of God's armor and weapons. Glory be to God. She is delivered. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the one who is Jesus, come into my life. Masuk dalam hidupku. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, who is the one who is Jesus. You are a python. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Out. Out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. How this man is running from the fire of the holiness of Jesus Christ in the life of the man of God. Just as the prophet prophesied, we can see how the man is slithering away from him in a desperate attempt to escape. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's free, it's free. The man is delivered. She has steady power. Dan dia mempunyai evil power. Tiga kuasa. Give thanks to God, give thanks to him. After the battle, the prophet worships and gives thanks to God. For every time he sees us through a battle. It is in our best interest to say thank you, Jesus Christ. We are getting to the end of this service. Kita sampai pada akhir dari kebaktian ini. Nevertheless, dan tetapi, when you have Jesus in your heart, kalau saudara memiliki Yesus di dalam hati saudara, He remains in your heart. Dia akan tetap tinggal di dalam hati saudara. Please make Him the Savior. Jadikan dia juru selamat saudara. Your Penebus saudara. Your friend in life. Dan sahabat saudara dalam hidup. Your comforter. Penghibur saudara. Lift up your voice and say this prayer along with me. Dan sekarang saudara doa dengan suara keras setelah saya. Dengan suara keras saudara semuanya. I believe. Aku percaya. Katakan saudara. Aku percaya. Jesus. Yesus. Is the Son of God. Anak Allah. He died on the cross for me. Dia mati di kayu salib bagiku. And rose again for me. Dan bangkit kembali bagiku. As from now on. Dan sejak sekarang ini. I'm yours. Aku milikmu. Enter my soul. Dan masuklah ke dalam jiwaku. Come into my life. Masuklah dalam hidupku. Enter my soul. Dan masuklah. Dalam jiwaku and make my heart ready to serve him. Dan jadikan hatiku siap make untuk melayanimu. Ready to follow him. Jadikan hatiku siap untuk mengikutimu. Now and forevermore. Sekarang dan sampai selama lamanya. Sekali lagi sorak sore bagi Tuhan kita.
Anjay Selamatnya Tetap selamanya Sekali lagi katakan Yesus saja We've just finished a service here with Prophet T.B. Joshua at the Bethany Church in Surabaya. Uh, can you just introduce yourself, madam? Just tell us your name, your age, and where you're from. I'm Lily. I am 59 years old. I'm a member of Bethany Surabaya. It's really amazing to see so many miracles happened in one day. I've never seen so many miracles happen in one day. This is a proof that our Lord is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, and that nothing is impossible for God and for us to believe. Nothing is too difficult for Him. People who don't believe in miracles, I think they don't believe in God. Because our Lord Jesus Christ, when He was on earth, He also performed so many miracles. Well, thank you very much, Madame, for sharing your experience with us. God bless you. Thank you very much. My name is Julius. I'm an usher in Bethany Church. It was so great to be here because God has used uh, men of God, Prophet Joshua, to perform so many miracles. It's a time for people to repent and uh, live in uh, holiness. God will fulfill all our needs. Uh, my name is Buddhist Tiawan. I'm an uh, usher here since 2001. I see the power of God was to heal, to deliver. Yeah, I see uh, that uh, Reverend Joshua uh, will the services again show that uh, our Lord Jesus, His power is bigger than every problem that uh, we have. Bisa tolong perkenalkan nama dan umur Anda? Nama saya Roni Sompotan, umur 36 tahun. Saya melihat uh, betapa indahnya pelayanan dari Tebusia dan banyaknya mujizat-mujizat yang terjadi. Dan saya melihat pula bahwa Orang-orang yang hadir malam hari ini begitu merasakan urapan Allah yang benar-benar luar biasa. Tapi Yesua uh, seorang hamba Tuhan yang benar-benar dipakai Tuhan untuk membuat suatu halal yang luar biasa. Nama saya Karel D. Siahaya. Hi, my name is Karel D. Siahaya. Umur 54 tahun. And I'm 54 years old. Yeah. Uh, saya terkesan dengan pendeta T.B. Yusua. I'm very impressed with TB Joshua. Karena selama saya hidup, saya baru pernah melihat langsung di tempat ini di gereja Betani ini. Because as long as I live, this is my real first time to see the miracle happen in front of my eye in this big building Graha Betani Church. Saya merasa bahwa uh, Tuhan pakai uh, TB Joshua ini hamba yang luar biasa. I feel that Jesus is really releasing this great servant of God, B. Joshua. Dan hamba ini telah membuktikan bahwa dan kuasa Tuhan mujizat terjadi buat uh, semua orang yang ada di sini yang sedang sakit. This servant of God has really proven to me that really God can heal all those people and do great miracles in this place. Uh, semoga semoga kami yang ikut melayani ini juga ada impertasi kuasa Tuhan buat kami secara pribadi, buat saya secara pribadi. And I really do hope that this miracle can also impact each one of us as the minister of God to serve other people. Amen.
Pray along with Prophet T.B. Joshua everywhere you go. Viewers all over the world, prepare your hearts to receive and get ready to pray along with Prophet T.B. Joshua. Whatever situation you are in, God Almighty will take you from glory to glory. Pray along in faith, in Jesus' name. Viewers all over the world, prepare your hearts to pray along with Prophet T.B. Joshua and flush away by the blood of Jesus whatever sickness or disease that is in your system. Viewers all over the world, where can we go from his presence? I say to you right now, begin to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Whatever you might have taken, whatever you might have eaten, right now within, outside, in your flute, in your tenders, by the blood of Jesus, I flush them out in the name of Jesus. I wash them away in the name of Jesus. Begin to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. What is your situation? Never a disease Jesus cannot kill. Right now, command them out in the name of Jesus. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Yes, command them out in the name of Jesus. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Say you sickness out. You disease out. You sickness out. Out of my body. You disease out. Out of my system. You disease out. In the name of Jesus. I command you out. I command you out. I command you out. By the blood of Jesus, I flood you out. I flood you out. I wash you away. By the blood of Jesus. Begin to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, get ready to pray along with Prophet T.B. Joshua and be set free from whatever bondage, whatever situation you are facing. It is the will of God at this moment for you to be set free. Viewers, anywhere you are, distance is not a barrier. The people of God rejoice as they receive their deliverance in accordance to the will of God. Pray along in faith, in Jesus' name. Viewers all over the world, whatever medium you are using to watch it with us. This one is not a barrier. That medium is not a barrier. Receive right now in the name of Jesus. It is the will of God to deliver you. It is the will of God at this moment to set you free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Whatever bondage, whatever situation you are facing, be free in the name of Jesus. Be here in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Your temple is the temple of Holy God. Be here in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed. Hear me. That sickness, that disease, be delivered in the name of Jesus. Your business, your finances, I commit them in your of God. Be flourish in the name of Jesus. What are your situation? In the name of Jesus Christ. You face them no more. You face them no more. You face them no more. Sit down, you face them no more. This is, you face them no more. Hardship, you face them no more. Thank you, Lord. Be an Emmanuel TV partner. Visit our website, www.emmanuel.tv, and click on Partnership. Soyez un partenaire d'Emmanuel Television. Visitez notre site internet, www.emmanuel.tv, et cliquez sur l'icône Partnership. Sé socio de Manuel TV. Visita nuestro sitio web www.emmanuel.tv y haz clic en Partnership. God is still saying something. Confirmations of prophecy coming up next on Emmanuel TV.
This is Emmanuel TV. Wisdom consists of all gracious, heavily thoughts of God, embodied in Christ for the enlightenment of our soul, ability to communicate this wisdom to others is the best and highest spiritual gift communicated to others knowledge ability to communicate this wisdom to others is the best and highest spiritual gift communicated to others Knowledge, 